and, and Grace, do you need me to repost that text I gave you last night? Uh, no, all good. You still haven't. Okay, cool. So that's that's where you're at. Um, the rest of y'all, you're sitting together in the Rogers round, finishing dinner. It's later in the night. You've done a long rest, and you're attuned to that tetrahedron. Mm -hmm. It's fully identified and everything, so you're good to go. And um, the guild executor, Sutton Greer, enters, and he approaches your table. And he says that the Silver Falcon's mercenaries have been sighted from the walls of the city. And he's about to go meet with their leader to discuss terms and try and buy some time. And, like, they're really short on manpower. He would be grateful if you'd accompany him. If you remember, he asked you to be on call. They're paying you that retainer. <clears throat> Just in case shit hits the fan. Yeah, so are the three of y'all good to go with him? Uh, I think We're so. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, come on, guys, I need your help. Quick, buy potions and materials. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Wait, how a... recently have we been drinking? Mm. Mid-drink when he came and interrupted well, it's, us. It's only about 7 or 8 o'clock, so you're not drunk. <laughs> Says you. <laughs> But you did finish your adventure at like one or two, so it's kind of like getting off work early, I guess. <laughs> nice. But no, you'll be fine. You don't have any penalties. Oh, yeah. Unless you ate too much. Minus one movement speed. <laughs> oh, okay. just take me, take me back. So he mounts up. Do all of you have horses at this point? Yeah. Think we did? Yes. I have a list of items. Because he has extra horse. horses if you need one. It's a smoky black mare. Destrier. <laughs> Q. I don't know why it says Q at the end. I should probably delete that. Just oh. <laughs> probably a typo. Sounds like it should be there. Is it a Merrick? Merrick Q? Yeah, it looks like I have a horse as well. Okay. And it looks like Easton has a horse, too. Okay, good. So he has all these extra horses, and he's just like, oh, okay, well, we'll just take him with us. <clears throat> so he leads the way through the city. Um, the mood on the street is, like, feverish with terror as people duck this way and that, desperately desperately trying to take care of everything they put off for way too long at this point. Um, getting across the flood foot bridge takes a lot longer than normal. Let's see, do I have a map of... I thought you should have a map of the town. I do. Um, it's just in a different category here. It's called Sadiz. Right. Okay. So you started at the Rogers Round, which is right here. I totally was going to say that. Yeah. God, I don't... And you got to get all the way to the West Gate over here. So it takes you a while to get across the bridge. It's clogged with people. Um, and then Fox Side, the market area, is full of people just, like, panicking, spending a whole bunch of money on any non-perishables and stuff like that they can find. Um, you hear people talking that the the mercenaries are supposed to be very numerous, like like over a 1,000, maybe a couple thousand. Um, and there's, like, no soldiers at all left in the city just like volunteer militia guardsmen and stuff so it, it's like people defending the walls against this um mercenary force they might not be able to take the city but they can definitely besiege it from that side because that's all the farms are over there so um god i i stopped reading and i started paraphrasing and then i got lost I'm sorry <laughs> um so yeah all the land to the east of the city is a bunch of swamps. Um, some of it is kind of pretty, but it's not very good farmland because it's just too wet. So all the farms are on the western side of the city, and that's the direction the mercenaries are coming from. So if they, they can come up to the city, basically, and choke it off from all its food supply and besiege it like that. And that's what the real danger is here. Um, the sergeant, the executor, he's an old guy with a big gray beard, and he has a shield... Um, he doesn't say very much, but it's pretty clear that he's not really very 
keen on this duty, but there's like nobody else to do it. And um, he kind of has this sense about him, like this little parlay could be very potentially very dangerous. <laughs> so he's decked out in all of his armor with this thick mail, and he has this huge heavy kite shield, and it's emblazoned with his the sigil of his guild office, which is a mailed fist over a green stripe, right? So you finally make it all the way to the west gate. You dismount and exit the city through a sally port, and you get your first view of the mercenary encampment. Um, while it's lacking in organization and efficiency, it definitely makes up for it in enthusiasm and numbers. Um, and you can make an intelligence check if you want to get an accurate count on how many there are. Do we have decent intelligent roles for many? I'm good at it. Maybe. Somebody's smart, I'm sure. I know how to count. Uh, you count to yeah, at least count 22. Of them. Yeah. There's like 2,700. We could do this. Wow. Yeah. 2,700. Fireballs. They're all camps. And um, the main encampment is still uh, about a mile from the city, so it's enough to, you know, clear out the farmland and choke off the food supply but not close enough that the defenders can actually do much in terms of sallying forth or anything. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, if they did decide they wanted to try and storm the city, there might be a chance that they could, but you could probably hold the walls against them. There's enough volunteers and just people in the city to fight them that it Probably wouldn't go down that way, but they still need to be dealt with somehow because of the risk they pose to the food supply. So there's this tiny little village right outside called Herleth. It's completely abandoned at this point. Um, it's outside the city's walls on the west side. You're walking through it now. Um, you pass the Diviner Eleanor Wickham. Her home is here. I have a picture, I think. Yeah. Let me show you. This is what her house looks like. And it's uh, it's been, like, ransacked and torn apart. Um, some of the other houses are just empty, but some of them have been destroyed, and some of them are boarded up. After you get through that village, you get to another smaller bridge. And this is the last bridge over the the last, um, oh, what's it called? Like a distributary. <laughs> so the last, the final section of the river, right? Um, and it's just a smaller bridge. On the other side awaits a group of seven mercenaries led by a man with a brimmed hat. Um, and they've approached the rest of the way from their camp to parlay. Um, here. This is the map that you need to keep open. And um, it wouldn't hurt if you rolled initiatives also, everyone. But I have a few more words to read, then we'll be good. Okay, so the man lets Greer speak a bit, but he smugly refuses to accept any kind of terms. And it suddenly occurs to you that the mercenaries may not have any intention of striking peace terms. Um, and then you realize that you may have just walked into a trap. Um, <laughs> so Greer smells trouble too, apparently, and he holds up his shield and just in time to block this underhanded knife thrown at him by the leader, um, who then laughs. The city has no hope. It's ripe for the taking. Um, but then all of a sudden he's taken unaware as this old stone pillar topples over behind him, blocking the path back to camp. His eyes flash a deeper shade of anger, and he readies his weapon and charges. Bastards. Okay. <laughs> Good thing that pool fell over. Let's get him. Yeah, so you have... A limited number of rounds that you can do this combat before you got to get back across the bridge. 
because there's going to be reinforcements eventually. But you can fight these guys, and if you can kill them in like five or six rounds, then you'll be able to get back to the city, no problem. So just bear that in mind. Glare at wizard, hope for fireball. Yeah, there's like eight <laughs> of them. yeah come on, this one yeah. time. So what are y'all's initiatives looks like? Oh, we got a couple fives. Yeah. Exciting. Um, <laughs> Ava, do you know how to roll your initiative? Okay, I don't know if I should roll it now or... Yeah, please do. Just drop the dice on the... The chat log? Yeah, let's see. It's on the um... chat log. Sorry. Yeah, right. Oh, let's see. Okay. See if you can take ownership of your character again. Okay, now try it again. I let you keep the twenty-one, but roll it a couple more times till we get it working. Okay, let's see. Work. <laughs> are you just rolling the d twenty? Are you going to your character sheet and rolling initiative? No, no, no. I think she's uh, doing it right. Um, try oh, wait, it one no, more time. That doesn't doesn't say in it. Doesn't yeah, say. it just go ahead. You have to roll from the character sheet. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see. Uh, and on the main tab. The center, there's an in Oh, you're right. Okay. Sorry. Number. Yeah. Main tab, it's in the middle between armor class and speed. And you just kind of okay. grab the square that has the number in it and throw yeah. that at the chat. There you go. There you go. Nice. Yeah, Holy snow. Fun. But you, I'll let you keep the first 18 you rolled. Okay. Because you're still learning. Okay. All right. So first things first, the femur um waits. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it readies itself to heal one of the party members. They take damage or something stupid like that. Okay. Elf <laughs> Gifu You yeah. get to go first. So you just knocked over this big column and it blocked the way and these guys are all like, What the fuck? All right. <laughs> so, what would you like to do? Like to all right, and the guys in red are the enemies, correct? Yeah. Um, sure. and each square is five feet, so your speed is thirty. That means you can go six squares in a turn, and then you can attack, and you can have a bonus action also if you have any spells or anything like that. Can then I bonus action spells? So not used to this. It's okay. Take. Could I do? Ask questions mm -hmm. if you're confused. Can I cast bless on most of the group, like the three closest members? Let's see. It has a range of thirty feet, so you'd have to get a little bit closer to do that. Okay, I'll get a little bit closer to them. Okay. Now, if you cast bless, you won't be able to attack. Okay, I'll attack first. Okay. I'm not. I'm so new to this. That's okay. Is that good? Usually, okay, just fun. punching things is the easy option. <laughs> yeah. um, so you can uh, move up to the closest guy, whichever one you want. Um, and do you remember where the actions tab is? Actions tab. Yeah, I'm on here right now. Okay, cool. I yep. cast the weapon. Uh, you can, yeah. Well, first, move your token up to whoever you want to attack on the map. Let's move it, like. Yeah. Now, click the attack die next to your battle axe with the plus six and drag okay. that onto the enemy. work right now i'm so sorry guys <laughs> either you can target the enemy by holding control and then left clicking on him go ahead and do that okay i'm 
again. It doesn't look like it's worked yet. Yeah, it's not working. Control click. Okay. okay. Then, if that's not going to work, then instead of dragging your attack roll onto the chat menu, you have to drag it onto his token. Okay. That should do it. Okay. And you missed it because he has pretty good armor. But that's okay. Now, do you have any spells that are bonus actions? I think, um... Shield of Faith is a bonus action. Oh, you Shield of Faith. Okay, yeah, you can cast that on yourself. So, um, if you click the magnifying glass next to it, it'll open up the spell, and there should be a button you can press that'll cast it on yours. Or, well, let's see. Yeah. Click it one more time. Yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, now you're good to go. Right, I'm sorry, everyone. No, that was a fantastic. Ah, it's all good. Very painless. It gets easy. Yeah. You haven't even started trying to do the stuff that's actually confusing yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yay. And macros and whatnot. You have to click on the book and then drag it right to open it. <laughs> <laughs> of course. You obviously. have to physically open the book to load its contents. What else would you have to do? <laughs> Okay, oh, so next is the NPC. He's like, uh, what the fuck is this going down? He, so he's going to attack this guy with his axe. He's got a very complex thought. Yeah, he's an old man. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, he's an old, old man, and I missed him. No, no, this this guy's a uh, ally. This guy's okay. the other old yeah. man. He also has a battle axe, <laughs> just like you, but his battle axe is Hi. not as cool as yours. But he does hit this guy twice, which is unexpected. He doesn't do very much damage. That's why he's. That's why he hits a lot because he sucks. He's got a hundred and six health. Oh, he's a shield guy. That's like ten times more than me, almost. Yeah. Well, no. But... Maybe eight, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows how to add significantly yeah. more? It's closer to ten times than one times. That's true. Easily. <laughs> Easily. Just round it up. So, this guy... Okay, so two of these guys are fancy-looking dudes who look like they're the more dangerous of the pack. And they each have, like, a saber and a dagger. And it might say scimitar in the chat. I'm not sure if I could fix it. Then the other guys, the regular man-at-arms guys, I think they just have uh, great swords. But the first of these dual wielder, duelist guys comes up to the, you know, the Sutton Greer, your superior in the guild, and he's going to attack this son of a bitch. Twice with his saber and once with his dagger. Misses. Twice. Then he Three misses times. again. <laughs> Hooray. Now it's Gabor's turn. Waltz up to oh, let's just let's just go up to there. Yeah, cast permanence on him. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll just permanence. do what we normally do. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, nice. there you go. I mean, you do that so often, I don't really care anymore. <laughs> Good job. Crit all the things. Your bullshit, overpowered <laughs> warlock crap. <laughs> I guess, yeah, if you get to roll crap. twice every time you attack, and your crit range is... Absurd. Three. <laughs> it kind of, it's it's like your crit range is actually six. <laughs> <laughs> so you have two dice. Well, good work. Yeah. At least you, you don't get to attack five times like Eason does. And she's not even done yet. She's going to have seven attacks when she's done. Oh, jeez. <laughs> like your first character, where you don't just roll a one half the time. Yeah. 
that's the good thing about being a not a tank. Andy. <laughs> yeah, I guess I was more tanky damage. last time than this time. You haven't always been a tank. But that that's what you I usually mean, Borgo's Borgo was more tank than DPS, definitely. Okay. I think you'll have to excuse me, Gracie. Everything's fine. I think I screwed this up. Which is why you couldn't target this guy. Yeah, okay. So the targeting should work the next time you try it. If you just hold down control and left click on it. You can target as many people as you want, like if you wanted to drop a fireball or something. Or if you want to target the party and cast Bless, you can target them all like that. Um, okay. It wasn't working because the token on the map wasn't linked to the one in the combat tracker. And that was my fault. Because okay. you have no control over that. So it's fixed now. This guy's going to attack you. Congratulations. He attacks you twice. Let's see. <laughs> oh, he missed. He missed. Twice. What an anticlimax. <laughs> okay, number four. Number four is going to use his crossbow. And he's going to shoot Davar. Nope. Right, Once. <sighs> I'll tell you what, he's never going to hit you, but if he ever does, he's going to do a lot of damage. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, he's going to come up here and attack this pillar toppler over here with his sword. This, this pile. Some crappy rolls. Apologize. <laughs> no, don't apologize. <laughs> They're missing. Oh my god. Yeah, like half the party's still oh, on the wow. bridge. Like, I rolled a five, damn it. <laughs> They're just watching it. Oh, here's the sergeant. <laughs> okay, so what he's gonna do. Wow. Okay, so what he's going to do is he's going to try and knock down this guy. He has one chance to do it. Oh, he rolled a one. Okay, so now he's just going to attack him twice. Critical hit. Oops, shit. Oh my god. No, that last one was an extra damage roll. He's fucked. Attack him once more. Okay, and he misses. Well, if he'd been knocked prone by that first attack, then he would have taken a lot of damage from the second two. But he didn't get knocked prone. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately for these guys. Miss. Miss. Well, sorry, this encounter wasn't supposed to be stupid. Trust me, the next round will probably be, you know, how it is sometimes. It's like, oh, God, we're all going to die one, two, one round, and the next round you're kicking ass again. Okay, Ethan, it is your turn. Go ahead. So I, I do have five attacks now? <laughs> uh, you, what I had four. I don't know. Do you? I think at level five you got your oh, yeah. second we just, yeah. main attack. So now you have four. Wait, what the hell? You get an attack every level? No, no. <laughs> no. Like oh, okay. Really... I think you do only have four still, sorry. Yeah. I think that was, yeah. I'll look up oh, when you get the next one. I think it's level seven. Is that just because you're dual wielding? It's because she's a fighter. Blade, oh. store. I'm actually just a blender, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, I you actually have to take feats to get the extra offhand attacks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I did take it. I did. I nobody do else gets more than one extra attack, <laughs> just yeah. automatically from their class. Yeah. And you I don't know. get another one till level eleven, though, so that's good. Yeah, it'll okay. be there before you know. Don't worry. Well, of course, of course, no problem. Spicy, spicy. Okay, so I wasn't paying any attention. You didn't attack too many times. Okay, good, perfect. You hit all four <laughs> times. <That was laughs> did your you chance. kill somebody? <laughs> No. Nope. <laughs> I don't 
don't do that much damage yet, but it totals, so. Well, that's a decent that's amount it. of damage. I mean, Davar did his crit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you, he did a decent amount of damage, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so my four attacks equal his one crit. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> nice, Davar. That's awesome. Yeah. And you always get four attacks, and he always crits. <laughs> yeah. Now we gotta get you with the okay. crit 18 or 17, and then you can start <laughs> doing work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. Um, did you attack so three old. times when it was your turn, Devar? Uh, the yeah. two main attacks and then my uh, polearm mastery thing. You did get three attacks. You didn't yeah. just attack them once. Okay, I see. So that's also my. Ah. Okay, Adrian's turn. What does he want to do? Man, I wish I could attack multiple targets in one turn. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you only get to roll once for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> But on the right side, I have this fun little thing where I'm afraid of fire. <laughs> and, oh, the radius is halved or doubled. Oh, god damn it, this is the one that can kill me. Halved or doubled? <laughs> well, uh, well, let's see which one it is. Oh, god. It's okay. doubled? So it's not that much bigger, but... 60 feet? Are you just doing a fireball? It's just a fireball. <laughs> Isn't it normally only 30 feet? I don't feet? think that's normal. That's 80 feet, Rad. It's 20 foot radius. What's it normally? Right. Is that is that radius? You're right. It, it just looks so big. It's normally 20 foot radius. 20 foot uh, radius. So it... Yeah, so that was right. No, it's if it's only half more, half again, then it would only be 30 foot. Right? Halved or doubled, but yeah. I don't oh, half know, something or like double. that. If it's doubled, okay. Thirty or four, it doesn't change. It's, it's one it of those. 40. That's okay. Who knows? What level how they do you have fourth level fireballs yet? Oh my god, do I? No. We no. leveled up. <laughs> no. Yeah, but it was an even level. <laughs> Not yet, Andy. <laughs> right, well, chance, another chance to roll a one on your hit die. <laughs> I would be lying if I say I didn't want to hit everybody, mm -hmm. but. It's not on purpose that I had to roll all these numbers. <laughs> no, let's let the uh, players re-roll their dexterity saves. Is anybody dead? <laughs> okay, fine. So you you can all roll dexterity saves. What's the DC? Uh, 16H. What is H? Oh. Why does it say H? It means that it's halved oh. if they succeed. Oh, that's... Or do hard. I just... For dexterity saves, do I just yeah. uh, grab the dice from the saves and roll it on chat? Yes. Exactly. Dexterity okay. save. Okay. And what did you say the DC is, Red? 16. Okay. So, uh, Davar and Ethan are used to your antics, and they were anticipating this, and so they both were able to <laughs> dodge half the damage. But the newcomer was not. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and neither was the guild executor. Actually, I think he passed his. Yeah, he passed his. He just doesn't take damage from stuff like that. Perfect. He's oh, experienced so... the other people's <laughs> bullshit and saw it coming from a mile away. <laughs> okay. So that was a great big fireball. Let's see how many enemies he killed. Just the one. <laughs> well... Yep. Damaged. Just the one. <laughs> just the one. Everyone else is bloodied and burned, but just the one died. They're all still alive. I could have killed myself like 20 times with that. <laughs> okay. That's why I measure my damage. <laughs> on HP, that's why I keep my HP so low. Well, this last guy, he has an initiative of four. And he has a number one painted on his on his tabard. And he's like, I'm... I'm Oh, no. Hey, it's my ringtone that I changed. Breaking my immersion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he sees Eason all the way back at the end of the initiative order, and he decides that he's going to be attacking her from now on. Oh, yeah, that's why. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Couple of 19s. Killer. Heck. Yeah. I'll just have to hit him back. Yeah, he's all singed and kind of smoking. Well, so are you. Everybody's kind of just like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the femur never took its turn. That's okay. The femur. The femur. Well, now it's just his turn. Yeah. Just like, yo, anybody want to heal? 
It's like Eason has a lot of damage. I'll take one. You yeah, want that's one? So, that sure. Silver Falcon duelist is uh, pretty damaged. I think you can heal him up. <laughs> <laughs> that would be an alright all right idea. You could cast <laughs> Spiritual Weapon all the way back here next to Adrian. Wait. Who? That's what I'll do. No! Yeah. Do I get an no, attack of opportunity? It'll cast Sanctuary on Adrian, so he can't do any more offensive spells. <laughs> <laughs> I must protect the party. It's like a like a computer deciding that they have to the only way to up. save humanity is to wipe it out. <laughs> to lock it up <laughs> underground. <laughs> I will. It's for your own protection. Yeah, he comes over here, over to Easton, and kind of whacks her on the back of the head. Ow. I deserve that. Yeah, but you know, friendly. Friendly whack. <laughs> the healing whack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he sure does like healing people. Yeah, since healing touch, he's just like bonk. <laughs> bonk. Twenty-four points. Okay. Ava's Thank turn. Thank you very much. For uh -huh. So nice you've got three of these guys around you and they have their great swords and they're doing their you know, they're they're all pretty good at fighting in sync, but you have a shield, so you're able to. I have mostly, a shield. Yeah. If it weren't for that fireball, then you ha wouldn't have taken any damage at all yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. How many attacks do I get? I'm sorry. I'm just. Yeah, you're just a cleric. Um, yeah. Which means you only get one melee attack per turn. That's what I thought. I was looking yeah. for. <clears throat> okay. Um. Which it's not a weak attack or anything. Yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna attack the. He said to cl uh, central left click to target someone. Right, but only target one guy. Yeah. <laughs> you said to target someone. Sorry, I misheard you. Okay. But yeah, that's I'm just right. Gonna swing. I'm just You're gonna good. swing my battle axe at him. Oh. You rolled a four. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Um, do you want to try and cast Shield of Faith again? Bear in mind... Uh, used... That's concentration. Oh. Actually, no, you didn't use the spell slot. Okay. No, never mind. You did use the spell slot because it worked. Okay. okay. Sorry, I'm confused. I thought that it didn't work for some reason. You can't use any other concentration spells, so I guess you're out of bonus action yeah. to do. Okay. Um, well, I went ahead and marked off one first level spell okay. on your yeah, action tab for you because of your one spell. Okay. It already break concentration from the fi the attack. Uh, no, it hasn't broken yet. Your shield is okay. still active. That's one of the reasons you aren't getting hit in melee. Because you got an extra plus two. Okay, so yeah. You all set? Mm -hmm. You want to use any objects in your inventory? Throw a rope at somebody? Shoot a fireball! <laughs> Break it's a really bottle effective. on the ground. Uh, <laughs> if you did I have like a healing that. potion or something, you could drink a healing potion. I'm just... Uh, just I making don't. you aware of what your options would normally be, but I think you're. Oh yeah, have a healer's kit. Yeah. So. <laughs> Not really a melee. Oh I... wait, it can take. Yeah. You're good. Don't worry. Okay. We had like hundreds of potions, and then we lost them all. <laughs> Clementia <laughs> took them all with her because she was carrying them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's okay. They weren't very expensive. Okay. <laughs> I mean, On it to like the we next bought out guy. entire towns worth of healing potions or anything. <laughs> oh my god, it's a blizzard. <laughs> what? The snow's gotten like a million times worse. Yeah, huh. it's what happens when you live where you live. It's the house across the street I can hardly see now. It's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, supposedly we will have it in the next five minutes, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon for us. <laughs> okay. So, 
this guy is going to he's going to attack different target he's going to attack duelist number 2 twice he hits him once oh and <laughs> kills him damn it that screwed up his whole plan it was going to be awesome <laughs> all right um <laughs> He'll do this guy instead. He was going to push him back five feet and let Eason have an attack of opportunity against him. Oh, that would have been... Well, he just died like a bitch. Quick, attacks his corpse <laughs> before he can do anything oh, about it. critical. Okay. So now this guy has to make a dexterity save. Let's see how he does. A 14. It's not good enough, you son of a bitch. He's knocked back, but not down. Okay. Oh, but he's still down. within my reach. I could have had an opportunity <laughs> to attack. Knows that, uh, the full diagonal 10-foot reach. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like 12 and a half feet. Uh, you have to move up at least one square in one, one direction. But it can be any direction. For me? Yeah, you could move just up one. Don't I have reach with my Alabrad? What? Is it a 10-foot reach or a 5-foot reach? Maybe it's 5-foot extra, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, is the diagonal... Because it's diagonal, it's more... Right. That's the full diagonal. You can't go... If I were to step like that, step. I could do it, correct? Right, right, exactly. Oh, okay. I see. Full diagonal. I'm sorry. It's just too much math. I, I just can't in good conscience. Could just you, be square per square. Straddle the hypotenuse in such a matter. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I no. get it. Thank you, Radley. Why am I upside down? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> wow, hit on eight. He is weak and feeble. Wait, when do I get Chain Lightning? I think, is that a 5th level spell? We should get there. Chain Lightning's good. I know that um, Druids get something called Call Lightning. <laughs> yeah, it's Lightning. Oh, is it just Lightning Strike once from above kind of thing? Well, it's multiple strikes, but only one per turn. Oh. You summon like a Lightning Cloud, and then it attacks for a while. No, Rad needs Force Lightning. Oh, damn it. Unlimited yeah. power. I forgot to give this guy better armor. That's why he's so shitty. Fucking boss is wearing studded leather. Ugh. <laughs> and he's just chopping him down. All right. These guys are going to rush to the defense of their sergeant. They're not. They're just going to keep attacking Elf Gafu because she's singed and they think that she looks vulnerable. They are wrong. Oh, maybe not. Yeah. Woo! 14 yeah, damage. Get her. Wait. All right. Yeah. Well, she's down. Yeah. Oh, no. But she already oh, went this turn, cool. so she doesn't have to make a death save this round, which is good. Wait, why did everyone take damage? <laughs> did everybody take damage? Yeah, when the giant fireball hit from above. Oh, um, yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's cool. It's cool. The funny thing is that when he automatically rolled your saving throw, you actually passed it. And then when I made you re-roll it yourself, it was when you failed. So, it's, it's so you can fault. blame the DM for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to say that. anything if you want to just let it slide, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll be fine. You know, the femur will recognize her as an ally. Works out. Do we yeah. recognize her as an ally? It doesn't well, matter. her icon is green is while the others are red. Femur is the heart. <laughs> yeah, I'm glowing green, guys. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Got the green she, name tag floating above was, her head. She's the one who knocked over the pillar. <laughs> so at the very <laughs> least, you recognize her as an enemy of these mercenaries for the time being. That's a Since friend. you are basically like, there's like an 8th level guy and a ninth level guy, and this guy, Greer, is like 7th level. And then you're the next highest level people in the city. So it's like, 
Okay, there's like eight of us. <laughs> Let's fight 2,700 people. So one more it. person is, is pretty nice. We now you have two it. healers. We got this. You just have to make a whole bunch of fireball scrolls. <laughs> no, Rad, we'll use the power of the tetrahedron to cast Each fireballs permanent. Scrolls. <laughs> oh, permanent fireball? Yeah. You just walk around it. Or you could cast permanent fireball on something like a like a bird and then have it fly around in their camp. <laughs> oh my <laughs> to be a firebird. So this guy has his crossbow out and he thinks he's clever. He might be. He's gonna shoot it at the wizard. What? No, he's not. Only one shoot. He missed the wizard. You dodge oh. the bolt. You dodge it. Or maybe you catch it in your spellbook or something. Uh, Catches it the robe, but only the robe. <laughs> it's like, oh, good thing I'm skinny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this guy is going to come up here and try to save his boss. He's going to great sword attack twice. Hope we hit. And he missed. All right, now this guy, do you get an attack of opportunity against him when he steps up to melee range with you, even though you've already been attacking him? Andy? I don't know. No. I don't think you do. I think he has then to they be come trying. into range. What? It's when they come into melee range. That's what he's doing now. Yeah. But it's already in Andy's melee range, because Andy's melee range is whack. Yeah, right. if he was already in my melee range and moves in it, I don't so think So, because it you moved up to put yourself in melee range. Yeah. Then he doesn't. Correct. You don't get Okay, so he's going to try and shield bash you. No. No, he's not. Okay. He may have crappy armor, but he does have good health. Oh, I fucking rolled a one. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You seem to make Andy fight a guy that's got crit three and advantage on every single attack. <laughs> yeah, that's and then I would cast darkness to nullify his advantage. <laughs> Boom. Take that, Andy. <gasps> oh, my God. Andy is dying. <laughs> okay, Ethan's turn. Retreat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Eason's got this. She could just blade yeah. storm him all to death. Yeah. 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 yeah let's try. A lot of these guys have 32 damage. See, you need to have crit 19, so that 19 would have been a crit. <laughs> yeah, and not roll twos. <laughs> Wait, if you're already dead, I can't kill you. Oh. I Andy. mean, That's yeah. That's a problem. You could, um, if you do enough damage to him, you can give him an automatic death save failure. Oh, oh that's good. <laughs> do that that's good? No, that's not good, Rad. <laughs> okay. Understand. I I'm trying to decide who next would be the best right. target to attack, because I want to try to eliminate as much. I'll just... I'll, I'll oh, you're going to sneak up through his legs and fight yeah. in the same square as him? Let's I'm make literally just going to... Yeah. Oh, that's I'm... him. Sorry. No, he's tiny and you're big. <laughs> I'm just going to squat down and just poke through his legs. <laughs> yeah, you're a halfling, so you can do that. Hell yeah. But apparently yeah. I can only do it once. <laughs> Shoot there. Thank you for repositioning me. <laughs> Alright, so that's all your attacks. You stabbed somebody. Good. Yeah. Alright, Adrian's turn. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's time to bust out some of these heals. Ooh. No. Healing so fire. Was like grenades. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> Cast another fireball and just kill everybody. <laughs> just stabilize the. You'll have four rounds to stabilize. You can totally do it. <laughs> Andy. Yo. You better not get me killed. You son of a bitch. <laughs> what are you talking about? 
All right, I'm gonna put this potion in Andy's mouth. Woo, Andy, carefully. Better just be that potion. There you go, Andy. Have five that's HP. You have yeah. two, four only potions. Yeah, that's all I need to fully. <laughs> yeah. Where'd you get one of those? Those should be like ranged potions. Even the first little healing spells aren't that crappy. Well, <laughs> you're talking. Is that to what him. it actually says? Yeah, two D four plus two. Oh, you only rolled one d4. <gasps> oh! Give me more! Oh, yeah, bring me to the mouse for Fine. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's better. There you go. Okay, so what is that? Nine <laughs> it's just total? like a really fucking... It's just a stale potion. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you left the cork open and it got a little flat. It's like, oh, it says, <laughs> please keep refrigerated. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it meant I could just put it in my normal pockets and it'd be fine. You know, mixing it with water, trying to make it last longer. <laughs> Let's That's see. what we should do. <laughs> Buy a bunch That's of healing potions, point. split them in half, fill them rest with water, and resell them for full price. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Double yeah. profits. I can get all that. That's never been done before. <laughs> I feel like my potions are only working half as much as they used to. I don't understand it. <laughs> okay. Who they buy from one guy? Bradley, the femur gives you a salute. And then he flies over to the other wounded player. He's like, thanks. You got my back, Howie. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And then he cure wounds on her. Yay. Problem solved. <laughs> cure death. Bear in mind that <laughs> his heals are much better than yours because he chose healing instead of war. But that doesn't uh -huh. mean that your heals are crappy. You you also have pretty good heals, which is why you only get one attack. Uh, yeah. Okay. Clerics are good. It's also just a femur. <laughs> it is just, it's a, just femur. a floating femur. <laughs> which means it can't even like have a drink. It's kind of weird. Oh well, I, well I can't say anything because spoilers, but you know, you never know. You can put it inside of a drink. I was about to say, you could just get like a, a fish tank and just soak it in the fish tank. Um. Wait, is it like <laughs> an oh invisible God. guy, but his femur's visible for some reason? <laughs> we just haven't noticed. It's, so it's he, close. <laughs> so he jumps into your back pocket. <laughs> oh, yeah, that doesn't really work. Well, the rest of him is extra dimensional. <laughs> it's like phantom <laughs> limb. Um, okay, it yeah. is Elf Giffy's turn. You are Elf suddenly Giffy. conscious, and there's a strange overlay. It's like a, a human femur. Oh, we have a picture of it, don't we? Well, that's okay. We don't need to show the picture. The one that's other than the icon? <laughs> oh, it, it is isn't the just icon. the icon. There's right. the femur yeah. icon. Right, I'm just out of my mind. It looks like it does in the icon. It's a big floating femur, and it and it's right next to you. It seems like it just kind of like, you know, bonked you on the head or something. But you're healed. <laughs> Hooray! I'm you can use half of your movement speed to stand up, and then you can do your regular attack. Okay, so. Okay, I'm gonna just swing my battle axe at him again. I guess. Okay. No. Did I do uh. that right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. You just keep rolling fours. Nothing you can really do about that. Um, let's Get see. It. Other options. Let me look up. Just gotta because, roll more dice. No, there's, there's non-magical, tactical actions and bonus actions and stuff like that that you can do during combat. I, let me look this up real quick. We just don't have anybody that does this kind of thing right now because we don't. You can grapple them. You do that. You, you can okay. throw things. I think you can. Okay. Bonus combat actions. You can stand up and then lay prone again. So you can take a dodge action, mm -hmm. right? Where instead of attacking, you, um, you just actively kind of dodge, and that means that anybody who attacks you has disadvantage. When they attack you. Okay, so can I just dodge uh, them or? Well, you already attacked this turn, so I'm just saying that in the future you have that as an option. All right, sounds good. Or you, yeah, you can um, you can try to grapple or bull rush and push somebody back like that. Um, 
the main penalty usually for that kind of thing is it uses up all your attacks. So if you have normally two attacks, you can only grapple once. But you only have one attack anyway. Um, yeah. And a grapple check is you make an athletics skill check against their acrobatics or athletics skill, whichever is higher for them. And if you beat that contested role, then you grapple them and then, you know, you're like wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. But anyway, that, it's it's okay. You're rolling for it's your first time. Big deal. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, we're just gonna hold it against you. At least the femur one. Yeah. So this guy has a halfling between his legs, and he's like, "What the hell? <laughs> this is the weirdest fight I've ever been in." He likes it. Does he? I don't know. <laughs> he probably doesn't hate it. Yeah. You are covered in armor, though, so you're kind of sharp. <laughs> <laughs> I think sharp's the right word. Okay, he's going to try and... Oh, just have to hit him once. Jesus Christ. All right. Devar's turn. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Quick, show everyone how to actually hit things, Andy. Mm -hmm. I was going to... use my potion for. Well, I was going to pop another potion. I think I have one. Well, you can do that without wasting your attack. Oh, do I only have potions of healing and not greater healing? Yep. Bummer city, man. I guess I've I'll... got one. Can you check it over this way? <laughs> Am I allowed to? No. <laughs> hey, uh, no you're actually within, you know, you're in the middle of this five foot square here, which is adjacent to him. So yeah, you can hand him a potion. So, really? All right. Do you do you want this potion? Uh, yeah, like use your reaction was... for the round. Would you? Would you be so kind? You can't yeah. transfer the potion if you have to have this conversation about <laughs> can yeah. I have it? If right. you want it, are you sure? <laughs> oh, well, I don't know. This is an out of character it. conversation, <laughs> Radley. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, the real problem is that Davar, you're still technically unconscious. Just kidding. All right. <laughs> uh, through the party sheet. Yeah. All Holy right. shit. So wow, that's that's 13. Like low frame rate. That was weird. Much partying. What am I at? Uh, 15 wounded? Oop, not 51. Neat. Oh. 51 wounded, but max HP is fucking 37. How does that work? So, did you pull this potion out of the party sheet, Andy? Oh. I did not, but Wait. I will now. Is it plus 4 or something, Andy? Yeah, it's yeah. plus four. Screw Did you it. add your plus four? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. That could have full healed me almost. Almost. And then okay. we'll take that and put that to zero. Okay. And then I can attack in the normal attack. There. That was just the bonus action that I used, yes? No, it was your use option. <gasps> use so option. I can attack all three times still? Yeah. Ethan's <laughs> the one. She used her reaction. So now oh, she okay. Can't more attacks of opportunity this round. Ah. That's probably worth it. Come on, Andy. Oh, you missed. Lose it. <laughs> 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 oh, you got him. Was that the boss? That was not the boss. Yeah, that's okay. You hit the boss in the face. Double kill. <sighs> Shafted. Not really getting my money's worth out of that potion, Andy. Hey, say. at least now I'm here to take the focus so you don't get hit again. Yeah, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this guy is very displeased with the turn of events. Um, but he does have this brave trait, which... <laughs> Let's him flee? Wait. <laughs> Let's him flee with <laughs> his head <laughs> held high. <laughs> well, no, that's... It, you know, makes him better against rolls versus frightened but the only button it has he can make somebody else frightened how it works like he's <laughs> too brave to cause someone else to be like oh no he's so brave i can't do this <laughs> <laughs> no i don't i just don't know why it has this clickable effect frightened it's like if he fails his bravery check then i just want to be doubly able to make him frightened <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. He's going to oh. attack you with his sword. But when he hits once, these swords can do a lot of damage. But Wait, 
Why don't the cleric have two attack? Why not? I don't know. They don't get one. Oh, okay. They don't That's get weird. a second one. The only reason Andy gets a second attack is because he had to take a special warlock. Uh, it wasn't a feat though. It's it was an invocation, invi yeah. right? It was a you only get a couple of very hours. specific one. Oh, he's a, he's and then um, the, the other one is a feat that I took at the very beginning. So I technically should only be doing one attack as well. Oh, okay. So don't forget, Grace, that mm -hmm. you also have these war domain features. This is what I was forgetting earlier. You can you can do guided strike, which gives you a plus ten to your attack, and you can also are you six? My what? No, six you're level. only fifth level. So okay, you can only do that a certain number of times per day. You have a certain number of channel divinities, mm -hmm. which is let's see how many of those do you get. You can channel divinity, like mm -hmm. turn a dead or guided strike are your only two options now. Yeah. Oh, and you can only do it once per rest. Yeah. Okay, once well, per... it's okay. Rest. Don't forget, you can do that if you want. Oh, I don't think we ever picked your feats. We did pick no, your feats. No, I, I we tried did. to get, like, I picked my feats, right. I just didn't add them to this because I didn't know how because I completely right. like I, was, I would have I was supposed to do it and I forgot to I'll do that yeah. when we take a break after this combat it's yeah. okay we'll just not worry about them for now sorry um, so that guy didn't kill you now it's this guy's turn yeah. he mm. can't shoot the wizard anymore yeah I can Go for it. The no, there's there's a warlock in the way, so he's just gonna move up, use his sword like he should have been doing this whole time anyway. Attack him. Him with great sword. Mist. Mist. Wow. Yeah, like he should have been. <laughs> yeah. Might as well just run away. Stupid asshole shooting people with his crossbow once per turn. <laughs> All right, the sergeant. All right now, he's gonna shield bash Navard. Nope. Oh, oh he got you. <laughs> Saving throw. Um. Strength saving throw. 15. Strength saving throw. That's a good one. Uh -huh. Oh, only plus three. Good Andy. Have bardic inspiration. Just kidding, I'm not a bardic. You have failed. <laughs> you have become prone. Oh no! Yeah, but he goes last in the round, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, Eason's turn. <laughs> Shit. Don't be prone, my friend. <laughs> oh wait, no, he gets to take you twice more. That's why it's good. Oh no! <laughs> wait, what the hell? Why did I just use a potion last round? Did I attack? I don't think I did. <laughs> <laughs> did you just walk up and give him a potion? Yeah, yeah. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, did I forget to do something? This is your fault, Rad. You could have saved me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. my God. See, that guy's good. That's why he's a boss, because he has a spear, and he knocks you down, and then he stabbed you with it. Okay, Eason's turn. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's while you're standing there with your hands just like open right next to Davar while this guy is impaling him with a spear and you're thinking like I wasted my turn last round <laughs> he's like wasn't there something Man, else I could have done he used my so turn funny. to say you better not make me regret this Andy <laughs> <laughs> Lo and behold, he regret because he did nothing. Okay. So, are that is that all four of your attacks? Yeah, that's the one. Uh, I think if you hit that third time, I might have killed him. Huh. It's okay. It's Adrian's turn. What do you want to do? Uh, well, this warlock was not particularly <laughs> useful. So 
So I think I would do something else this round. Uh, let's finish these guys with a magic missile. Pew, pew, pew. pew. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, good, I got him. Got him. Hooray. Problem solved, guys. <laughs> Now I'd suggest everyone get back on the other side of the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Good luck, Femur. Everyone who's still up, run away. Yeah. <laughs> Femur has one more second level spell left, just <gasps> for Javar. <gasps> it's got my name on it and everything? Oh, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. That's why, you, you know, you're welcome, Andy. <laughs> All right, now it's Eva's turn. Eva. Wait, who's Eva? Eva is Elf Gifty. That's her nickname. Yeah, I just made a random nickname because I didn't want to have everyone <laughs> struggling to pronounce her name. Or come up with a nickname you don't approve of. We could call you, like, <laughs> Giffy. <laughs> oh my gosh. You... <laughs> That's gonna happen probably if I survive. But elf um, girl. Oh gosh. But okay, she's not wait, an elf, turn. she's a human. Yeah, it's your turn. So good. um you could cast a spell if you wanted. You could cast a heal on yourself. Um or you could try to cast hold person on one of these enemies. That'd be kinda cool. Let's see, what are your third oh, levels? I have a cleric scroll you can have. Cleric scroll. Oh. Yeah, it's a scroll of raised dead. You can use it on Andy because he keeps dying. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not dead now, so hold off on that. You died twice, oh, man. Hurt. Come on. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's too small to die. You're making fun of everybody. Oh, oh I would recommend you guys all get some fire resistance gear. <laughs> You're right. Wait, no. Wait, no, you should just... Wait, no. We should all just, like, learn to stand back when it's his turn. And then he can be like, go, go for it. And oh, shit. Go. Speaking of fire resistance, actually, Ava is supposed to have advantage against fire resistance. Yeah. She has a ring of fire resistance. Oh. Only oh. magic. So <laughs> I gave it to him because you got to need this. And I was like, oh, he's going to cast so many fireballs on her. <laughs> I was... I, and then I forgot. So... Oh, okay. Dude, that's what I should use. Like, no. like we're we're, we're still fireball. learning. It's, it's the new party composition. Everything <laughs> is itself out. It's cool. It's cool. Maybe you weren't wearing your fire resistance now because you just weren't thinking. You have it on, or you have yeah. it on you, just not equipped. It's like, damn it! Why did my I have pocket. it in my pocket? I should always wear this thing. <laughs> I didn't think okay, I would have so... to come across a fireball. <laughs> okay, so if you want, you can try to do a bull rush. You'll make a strength, uh, athletics check against this guy's acrobatics check, and if you beat him, then you can push him back ten feet. You want to try to do that? Um. You don't get to do any damage, but you could push him back over to the other guys. Okay, I think I want to try and do that. Yeah, and, and then you'd be closer to the bridge also, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, so yeah. I go to the skills and click on yeah. athletics and roll right. it on the dude. Just roll it in the chat. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Well, this guy might roll crappy too. Go? Let's see. I don't know. He does not have that as a skill, so it's just... No. Oh, sorry. Okay, you still have a bonus action. Bonus action. Okay. Um. Do something interesting. How much AC do you have right now? Um, twenty-one. Oh, that's pretty good. It's with <laughs> the shield of faith. It's plus oh, two. I see. For who? Oh. For me? Oh no, that's gone now because you were unconscious. Yeah, that's gone. Oh, so you a can a little bit ago. It, yeah, it, ex it it uh you lose your concentration when you go unconscious. I do yeah. that too. That means that you could cast another bonus action spell. Let's see, you could cast magic weapon. 
give you plus one on all your attacks for the rest of the end of the combat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. You can just get Shield of Faith again if you wanted. Spirit Guardians, that's a good one, but it's a full action. Yeah. Uh, uh, I guess I'll just do Magic Weapon, I don't know. No, Shield of Faith would probably be better than Magic Weapon. Oh, yeah. At this point. Wait, can I do that again? Yeah, you can do it again. You have a couple more first level spells left. Right. Yeah. So... Yeah, so here, target yourself. Yeah. With the control click, and then press the button. Okay, now click yourself again to deselect. Okay. I mean, like, control click again. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> now you're good to go. Yay. Faithful shielding. And mark off another first level spell. Okay. Right. Okay. This guy is a shield master. He's going to attack this guy with X. Miss. Evar's turn. All right. Mm. Clean up time. Something like that. Wow, you what, hit without wait, even what? using advantage. Oh, yeah. you're still oh, prone. I'm still prone. <laughs> <laughs> well, you probably killed him. So, you know, roll damage and then stand up. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> right. Now you nice. stand up. <laughs> <laughs> I should just stay down. I did better then. <laughs> Actually, yeah, now you have to move. If you'd stayed down, you could have stabbed him through the guy's legs. But ah. I have to move to hit him? Because there's a guy in the way. An ally. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I can do that. <laughs> Actually, no, you can attack through an ally's square, can't you? I mean, we've done it before. Been... Yeah. <laughs> you attack yeah. through both of our legs. Because then it's kind of like being like a phalanx or something. Yeah, you can <laughs> stab around your friend. <laughs> so how many you have more criticals than the number of times you've died in this combat Andy is that, is that, that's how we can tell that it's been a good combat for you yes <laughs> deaths versus crits as long as it stays in the positives <laughs> it's greater than alright so are you good yeah yeah alright number two Yay! Um. <laughs> mm -hmm. um. Oh, at some point you accidentally gave him shield of faith. <laughs> I wonder how long ago that was. <laughs> Hopefully, not very long. We can always look. She's the enemy. <laughs> Might have just happened. <laughs> but <laughs> you accidentally clicked him. I think yeah, you clicked the spell when you still had him targeted by accident. But it's it's okay. It's been corrected. Uh, yeah. He's going to use leadership oh, at this point again. That. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that means he gives the one remaining guy. It would have been everybody if he'd used it at the beginning. <laughs> and they each could have done it. <laughs> he gives him an extra d4 that he can roll once and add to any die he wants. That would have been useful. Yeah. For the whole party. And it doesn't look like it even takes an action to use. So he's just going to attack you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Whoops. It's okay. You forget these things when they're doing well on their own. You know, they weren't thinking they would need to... You know, they didn't expect that there was such an... You know... It's because that pillar fell. Well, and the, the femur healing everybody. Just like, yeah. Like, I thought we killed these guys. This fucking warlock keeps getting back up. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, so this guy is just going to do what he's been doing. Oh, he's going to use leadership, give the other guy a die now. Just on the off chance that he survives another round. Nice. Um, then he's going to add a d4. Oh, 19. Still misses, though. Huh. There, there goes this 1d4. Now he attacks one more time. Okay. He's <laughs> Good old guy. Don't yeah. kill him. They run away if they weren't trapped. 
But you are running out of time. It's fine. There's only two of them. Yeah, but there's other people on the other side clearing the debris. Oh. So they will be able to get through. You're going to have to hightail it across the bridge by the time it's round number six. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Start oh, start. yeah. Time you say for... don't kill him? Yeah. Okay. Well, what do you want to do, Adrian? Well, if we leave one of them alive... Uh-huh. You can interrogate them. Like, Where is your camp? How many soldiers do you have? <laughs> oh. Oops, that wasn't damage. Uh -oh. I win! Oh shit, he didn't die. There we go. Guy, yeah, uh, now leave him alive Marvel. and question him. Don't you have any spells that incapacitate people? Like, you're the wizard. <laughs> uh, yes. That's what you should have cast instead. I have no <laughs> Damaging him and then saying, don't kill him! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try and kill him. I want to kill him. <laughs> Oh, I screwed it up, though. I want to question him. I oh, mean, well, kill him. Go, <laughs> okay. <laughs> this famer has some spells left. He still has some heals. They're just first-level heals. I don't know. We're pretty good at reviving, so even if we kill him, we can still question him. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We'd worry about it. Hey, look at the warlock. He's died a few enemies. times. That didn't stop him. Shit. <laughs> you still have four damage. I didn't mean to click it twice. Okay, Cleric's turn. Um. Where's some, Oh, there it is. Could I cast Hold Person on him? Yeah, sure. So, target him mm -hmm. first, then press the button for the spell. Should have something that'll make him roll a save. There's a. Attack, cast, and effect on. Uh, like click the button next to save. You see that one? It's like in the middle. Save. You open up the whole person by clicking on that magnifying glass. Mm hmm. Then there's cast, attack, save on one row. And then there's effect on the next row. Yeah. Yeah, you haven't targeted, so click the little icon next to save on the left, and that'll roll hit save. And you can't actually see the dice because of the enemy rolling. He rolled a four, and he failed. So now you can click the button next to effect, and it'll make him paralyzed. And I roll it on him. Uh, you can just click it, because you haven't targeted. Oh. Ooh. Paralyzed him twice. Good work. I'm sorry. Uh... No, yeah, that's good. He's super um, paralyzed. No, if he wasn't paralyzed, he'd get an attack of opportunity against you now. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Um, he falls to the ground after you slap him in the face with your hold person. <laughs> or however you want to do it. Maybe you could just tap him with your shield. <laughs> slap him in the face with my shield. Anyway, um... You should probably gather him up and make your way back to the city. That's what the Greer says. He's like, okay, hurry, we gotta get back. We gotta get back inside the walls quick. Yep. Is Andy so, dead? Nope. I don't think okay. so. <laughs> Not right now. So he will, Greer will help Ava carry this held person. And he's like, how long is this guy gonna hold? He asks you. I think it's a minute. <laughs> One minute. Uh, <laughs> One minute. So, wait, wait! I have rope. I have rope. <laughs> we gotta get him across the bridge quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, I, let, let's let's all help take this guy. Okay. <laughs> it takes two <laughs> rounds to get him across the bridge, <laughs> and they're just now clearing the rebel. Look, quick! You have eight rounds left before he's not held anymore. Let's see, time up. That takes one round. If you can roll, who's going to do the tying up? Roll dexterity. Mm -hmm. Dexterity mm -hmm. check. I like tying things. Ooh. Oh, all right. Yeah. He's in up real good. Then uh, you have plenty of time to run. You get into the city just as the enemies are crossing this bridge. Oh, we should have yeah. destroyed the bridge. There's a whole <laughs> other bigger bridge made out of stone. 
that leads up into the city across a much wider part of the river. So it's it's not like you have to defend this tiny little bridge against twenty seven hundred. <laughs> but it would have slowed them down for sure. Um, I guess a little bit. Um, they could ford this river if they really had to. This is just on the edge of that little hamlet I was talking about called like Harolith or something. Anyway, good work, everybody. I'm going to give you all experience. There's no treasure because you couldn't loot the enemies. I had no time to. Yeah. Oh, shit. Um, so... Hour and a half in. Okay, let's go ahead and take like a ten minute break. I'm gonna set up these two feats that I forgot to set up for Grace, and then I'm gonna get another cup of coffee. Okay. Need me to tell you what the feats are again, or do you have them? <laughs> um. Can you just paste them into Facebook chat? Were they links? Uh, they were links. Yeah. If they were all from feet messages. Yeah, that. Feet list has so good yeah. overpowered feats, they're great. It does. Just remind me what they're called. Get a uh, Warcaster. Shield Guardian. Guardian and Child of War. Child of. Oh, that's right. Okay. Somebody is messaging. Oh, that's you. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> okay, good. I'll type this up real quick. Sorry for being all slow and confused. Oh, you did great. How are you liking your cleric so far? Is that a good class picture? Uh, yeah, good. I just need to get used to like being a yeah. cleric in this entire program. Right. It'll be it'll be fine. You get that. Um, can you view the other team members' like health status or? Yeah, I can. Can you not? I don't see their health. No. Does it show you? Okay. Do you know how to open the combat tracker? The two uh... little cross swords at the very top, top right. Store top right. Oh, okay, there it is. Oh, okay. And it shows, and the order is what they roll on an in initiative, right? Um, probably. Does it say anything about health? Have like a health bar? Uh, maybe? Yeah, HB. Yeah, yeah. That's, okay. that's where it shows. And if you ever want to cast a heal, you can target an ally just the same way that you target an enemy. Okay. So it was Child of War, right? Mm -hmm. Child of War, Shield Guardian. So, yeah, you actually have double proficiencies with athletics, which makes you even better at grappling. Yeah. Um. <laughs> you know what happened about? <laughs> Sorry. What's so funny? <laughs> There's just some random photo on Facebook. Glory sent me. It's pretty good here. Uh-oh. I think you're laughing at me. I'm gonna go cry. Boo hoo. And also, you didn't want to play Divinity with me, Radley. Boo hoo. What? It's not that I didn't want to play Divinity with you, it's that I didn't want to play Divinity. What? Sorry, I'm not paying attention. I'm typing right now. <laughs> 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 no, I know. I'm just kidding. I started playing the first one. I only asked you to play because I wanted a reason to not play the first one. Oh, Do I have I time to one. go to the bathroom, or how long does this break? Oh, yeah, please, go go ahead. You can step away. You're you're good. Thanks. I'll type these up, then I'm going to go get some coffee. Yeah. Um, yeah, I started playing the first one again. Wait, and Divinity Original like, Sin, or like yeah, original Divine Sin. Divinity? Oh, oh okay. I have that one, too. Yeah, but no, one. just just original sin. Cool. And uh, I started a new game. It was like fun at first, but then I'm like, God damn, I'm just stuck in this town forever. So I yeah. might go back to my other save. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna type this part. 
I love how some of these feats look like they were written by a robot, and some look like they were written by some care bear. It's like, you are a master of the shield! <laughs> <laughs> you bear the hope of the shield so that your fellow may always stand tall! <laughs> <laughs> That is too good a line. Okay. Okay. When an ally is struck by a ranged attack, you can use reaction to move half your movement towards them and block it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's one of her feats. Yeah. That's a cool feat. Next feat's level 8. That's soon, isn't it? What level am I? 6. Fuck. <gasps> what? The feat I was going to get next level's gone. What feet? Cantrip caster. Oh, wait, there it is. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's five E feet. At the I end. hope they don't remove stuff from this list. It's just a wiki. I think they just renamed the page. Oh, I just didn't copy the whole URL because I had an underscore. Uh, that well, there's a link see. now on the Reddit. Uh, I put one in my profile, but okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I I made some links to the main stuff. It's each button has its own color, even. This is the red button. I sure wish people would use the Reddit. It's so handy. I use it all the time. Nobody else does. <laughs> I look at it whenever I need to look at it. Uh huh. It's nice that it's there mm -hmm. versus like posting something in the Facebook chat, which goes away. Right. I mean, it really does help in that regard. It makes it a lot easier for me. Yeah. Oh jeez, what's with this dog face picture? Who's a dog? Just Brad posted. <laughs> Andy, Joe Cat, the guy that makes those, he made those uh, crap guide to D&D videos. Sure. That got like 500,000 views. Sure. Yesterday he removed AdSense from his videos because he hasn't made a cent off of any of them yet. Wow. It's pretty bad. Oh hey, audio's still on. Oh well. <laughs> oh my god, that means everyone just heard my password. Oh no, did they? Lost Which the game 47. Dick, 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 oh no, it's an, oh. it's a riddle. It's one of those password riddles where you have a conversation about nothing, but you actually have to add up all the bits, letters, password. And you have password to add up hit. every 47th letter. The but password has like many letters and the... And then the actual password is also cheese forty seven. Jeez. Yeah, don't you use that password? Usually something like yellow. 
yellow no, cheese. Yellow oh, cheese is, cheese is yellow. That's that's why. That's ah. yellow. <laughs> what oh, kind of cheese do you it. get? Sorry, Sandy. It's got holes in it. <laughs> but then all the contents of your sandwich falls through the holes. I know. Isn't that annoying? <laughs> that's the only problem with Swiss cheese. Otherwise, it's great. I love it. What you do is you take two really thin slices of cheese, you rotate them 90 degrees so the holes don't line up. <laughs> I mean, that may or may not work, depending <laughs> on where the holes are. Yeah. Or at least flip it around to minimize the hole lidge. Oh, Andy, you're back. I've been back, yes. How you doing? I'm doing okay. How about you? I'm good. I'm s oh! I'm starting to see a little bit of white in the sky as it's falling in a almost a 45 degree angle. What the fuck? Is it going back up? Nope. It's now at a, it's now perpendicular to the ground. Well, the snow stopped here, Andy. So you're welcome. It's really flurry looking. It doesn't look that good. It's exciting. Uh, ow! Ah! I'm all caught up in this cord. Ah! God, my window is so far away now. Nothing looks like it's sticking quite yet, but I'm sure it will soon. I'm seeing some larger snowflake chunks. I hope it doesn't kill your internet, Andy. Uh, it shouldn't. <laughs> Those large chunks, man. That's what you gotta be worried about the most. Oh, yep, it's starting to flurry a bit more now. Okay, now I will be right back. Real. You had Where the you other going? ten minutes. He's going to lose the game like you did, Radley. Lost the game. Andy! What? I only got like three hours of sleep. Oh, okay. I was going to be like, that's cool, I got not that much either, but yours is significantly worse. <laughs> I think I, I got like... I it was D&D, and then I was working till like 4 a.m., 5 a.m. Oh. And then I was like, I should go to bed. And I was like, oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been up rather late. And because I haven't been working. That's good. No, it's not. Oh, no, it's not good. <laughs> AMD stock went up 1.5% since the market closed, Andy. That's good. It's $47. Ah. Lost the game. Lost the game, but you gained a profit. That's not actually. It's 22.76 right now. But. Make some money. <laughs> I gotta get these taxes, Andy. I owe so much. I got a whopping fifty dollars back on mine. Oh, I'm gonna have to pay like twenty thousand. Oh, because you don't have paying taxes on your paycheck thing. Yeah, I did pay quarterly, but my estimate last year was way less than I actually made. Uh well, good for you. Audio is still not muted, by the way. So don't give out oh, too much information. Andy, don't let anyone know. Holy dog! That was hilarious. <laughs> oh yeah, it's <laughs> what? I'm sorry, I'm so tired. The second time I watched it, it was even more hilarious. Watched what? The log thing? No. Hang on, I'm trying to share it. Uh, I'm a little worried. Discord, that's what it's called. Hang on, voice chat. Worried about what? <laughs> As Rad's doing this thing. D. Yeah, D. exactly this thing. <laughs> D. D. I'm Meta. Food. Muted. AFK. Oh, it's the AFK channel? Oh, we've been talking in the AFK channel. It's no, first. the AFK channel. It's D&D &D 5e session. I don't know what the... I know. I meant the chat channel. I've been talking in the AFK section. Oh. Well, I sent it to the D&D &D 5e meta chat. There you go, Andy. It's, oh, it's on my phone because I couldn't be bothered to look at my screen. It's a dog. <laughs> Shumps on her face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I've seen that. <laughs> Just takes her out. <laughs> Welcome to the beginning of the D&D &D 5e meta channel. Here 
screwed. I thought... I still don't under understand Discord, but I never use it besides D&D, &D, so that's just understandable. Why are you going upwards, Snow? It doesn't make sense to go that way. <laughs> it's unsnowing. It's reverse snowing. <laughs> We'll see what it's like when session's over. I'm pretty sure it's not going to get too bad. Uh, Door Fortress bugs are so good, Andy. <laughs> they're not bugs, Radley. They're features. A recent <laughs> bug report. Teeth create excessive steam when in very hot rain. Wait. Teeth create uh -huh. excessive steam? Yep. In hot rain? Yep. It's a bug in Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> You know, given enough time, money, computer power, and stuff, I'm sure Door Fortress will eventually be the first, like, simulated universe where they start questioning reality. <laughs> <laughs> and then it will eventually become the Matrix. But with doors being eaten by alligators. <laughs> Ah. <gasps> it's one of those little kittens, Andy. Oh no. No, oh, you know the ones that have like the little tiny tail. <laughs> They're so cute. Sure, I'll take your word for it. Yeah, it's one of those. He's got a little kitten, Andy. Oh, look how cute it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the little kitten that we have is now gone into cat mode. Hello. S still a little Hi, fucking Speedo. shit. Yeah, look at the kitten I shared in the other chat channel. <laughs> in the Discord? Yeah. In the Discord. Were you not talking about the Discord chat? Because that's a terrible cliche. Uh, the D&D &D 5e meta chat, I think is what he's talking about. Yeah, I was sharing links in the AFK channel, I didn't realize. Then I was trying to share them from my phone. Oh, switch. in Discord, though? Okay. Yeah. Yes. What did I say? Oh, the text channel. Oh, that's a much better picture. Yeah. Is that really yours? No. Oh. I got it off Reddit. Okay, that's fine. I thought you were saying that was your kitty. I wish. All right, I'm so is help. everybody here? I'm Sorry. here. Okay, sound yeah. off. Wow. Ah. Uh, 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 I'm eating. Okay, it's fine. Um, so Gracie, there's one last thing, and then you should be good to go. <laughs> like uh, everything on your character sheet will be officially done, and you have okay. to decide. One of your feats gives you a plus one to either your strength or your dex. Uh, let me um, look at what I have. Yeah. Uh, I'll go plus one with dex. Okay. <laughs> go ahead and raise that for What? I don't think he's laughing at you. Does. Yeah, but you are going to need that scrub. fireball. The woman's face on the dog's nose is so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were like, there's a picture of a cute kitten. And so I went to Discord and I saw that. And I was like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he got you, Sabino. It was a prank. Right. But there really was a kitty, so it was okay. A little okay. Not quite totally okay. I'll only be traumatized for, you know, a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, so experience. Let's see. I need to add cleric to the party sheet. Let's see, like that, like that. Oh, let's clear out some old encounters with that. This one was called Merc Parley. Lord. Do we level up? Nope. I know no we <laughs> And there's no treasure except for I'll put this one survivor in the... In the party can... loot. <laughs> no, I can't drag him. The... We'll just leave him in the combat tracker and change him to neutral. <laughs> what if we just, like, just forget about this entire quest and just wander off with him? <laughs> just like he's well, this town's place. fucked. See y'all later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> No way. You'd have to um either find a powerful magic item or learn a more powerful spell to actually make him an ally as your henchman. If that's what you're asking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it was, but you make your way back to the city in any case. Um the mercenaries are hot on your tails. It's very very um you know, dangerous and exciting. But, you know, you make it in. It's fine. They have crossbows, so it takes them a long time to shoot at you, so. That's probably why. If only they had one archer, he could have killed all of y'all. It's kind of lucky. <laughs> shoot at least um, someone in the leg. Right. Well, you gotta have leg armor specifically for that kind of thing. Protect the knees. Well, once you are back inside the city, um, these people might be wondering, you know, who this newcomer is. You know, if y'all want to talk about that for a while, that's okay. Yeah, where'd you come from, and how did you know to throw that, like, pillar aside? Or was that an accident? <laughs> Known in our party as accidents that go well. <laughs> Well, normally people introduce themselves, so I am Eason Mid. Nice to meet you. We don't introduce <laughs> ourselves, we have them introduce them first. <laughs> He's very tiny. I think he weighs 31 pounds, is that what it is? Well, not if you count the armor. If you count the armor, it's like 70 or something. <laughs> tiny. Yeah. Hey. Okay. I thought my mm -hmm. program closed out then, for a um, second. Oh. My name's Radley. I mean Adrian. <laughs> uh oh. Split personality. <laughs> hey, we can only have one person in the party with that. Yep. He's a tall guy, he's he's robed. What were were you wearing some of those new robes? Oh yeah. Because my other one what have oh yeah, I pissed myself. Uh, and they were burnt, weren't they? Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you they, fell out a window. Is what happened. <laughs> oh, I fell out a window. You fell out a window. And... I almost had some shield guardian thing kill me, but then right. it couldn't. But I didn't know that. I swear, he's just trying to kill all of us. I think that's just his goal. No, like I hope he tried. The, the quest item was in that library that you left unexplored because of that shield guard and you were too cowardly to fight. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my you know, gosh. Could have been the whole key. That was Oh my gosh. We should just have we should just have Rad like um kill everybody and then he'll like scavenge as he like picks people off like away from the group. Like, just, like oh my kill God. people in clusters and he'll loot for us <laughs> and shoot things. <laughs> anyway, I think he's wearing the red robes. <laughs> Red robes. Hey, we yeah. match. So he's wearing oh. red robes. Well, I'm not wearing yeah, red wearing... robes, but no, you have slightly red hair. <laughs> oh, I don't have red hair though. I have like blondish hair. She has a white shirt on. Wow. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> what does Davar look like these well, days? Well, I realized that my icon mask? hasn't been updated, so uh -oh. I need a. I need a. Yeah, where's your fucking like tentacle face or whatever? I have it. I have it in the in the chat or Which in Twitch. Which picture do you want me to use? Well, because uh, I can do it for you. 
I think you can change your own portrait. Well, how do I go about that? Double click on it. Um, okay. Look up what this optical size should be. Yeah, um, do you remember Jedebiah? Just double right. click your portrait. You should resize it to like 63 by 63. There's squares. It's can, just a token. Do I have to resize it beforehand? Yes. <sighs> Otherwise, it'll be stupid. Oh my god, yeah, that guy got Jedebiah. <laughs> god. So. Is that with or without the parrot? <laughs> Can't tell. It's making big like seconds that I'm out. Open with paint. <laughs> oh, what the heck? It was from our last campaign. That was his paladin. That's really okay. good. Well, I don't think oh, his paladin no. actually ever looked like that. I think his paladin looked like that most of the time there. You're going to crash my fantasy crowns. <laughs> oh, no. Um, <laughs> You probably didn't resize your portraits. <laughs> you said 63 by 63? Yeah, they're real small. Real small. Oh, jeez. Mine are only uh, 57. It's not too big. And crop it first, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make like, it square and all your that. Real picture. <laughs> I already made oh, it. I got one with... Tell oh, us I what got... you look like at the same time, though. Well, Glory. so. <laughs> <laughs> what was your horse's name? Glory? Glory. Yeah. A traffic cone on his head. <laughs> <laughs> are you showing what? this in Fantasy Grounds or is this elsewhere? Yeah. What are you talking about? Oh, this is interesting. The picture's from can... Rad. Oh my god. Oh, he's doing it in Fantasy Grounds. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, okay, sorry for lagging Fantasy Grounds. <laughs> it's not the best at transferring yeah. photos. Anybody crash? No, but no? it's lagging no. for me. I'm not seeing anything. Oops. Oh, no, wow. I'll share them on the chat. That's okay. Um, it's important. You, did you get your picture set up yet, Andy? Are you doing that now? I'm doing that right now. Oh, okay. God. It's so little. Um, I don't know. If while you're there. doing that, um, the guild executor, Sutton Greer, he, he's like, okay, well, if you're here to help, then I can deputize you with the rest of them. Um, doesn't come with any extra pay. He says, but, um, you know, you can actually act in the name of the guard to help defend the city, if that's what you're here for. That doesn't fire. come with any pay. No, it's fine. Does that mean <laughs> I get to shoot more fireballs? Um, <laughs> if you prove you're worth, you know, he'll sign you on as a retainer, too, he says later. But there's more important things to worry about right now. And uh, the guild's kind of out of money. <laughs> Uh, kind of we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out in the meantime. We can give you back pay if we have to. It's no Dude, big deal. Not can targeted. you pay us in health potions? Uh, well, um, he's not really the one who knows the answer to that question, but he can tell you that the diviner, Eleanor Wickham, Mrs. Wickham, she had to move into the city because she lived in that hamlet out to the west. That's been yeah, abandoned. her house burned down. Or yeah, so she's staying at the guild you could ask her. She might know where to get some health potions. Okay. Um, in the meantime, he he asks if you had any luck finding out about that illusionist. He knows that Sir Leslie tasked you to look into that guy because he's the only guy in the town who's like over level 12. He's really high level. If, if he helps us, then we could really do some damage to these guys. Or trick him oh, no, he's gone. Reasoning. He's dead. I, wait, you I got this. You don't have I any more the, leads? And this clavichord? If, if I, like, pull out, like, the little piano. Yeah. And I, I don't know. I found that. And what did it do? And it plays music. Oh, that's excellent. <laughs> but you but don't, it's uh... broken, isn't it? Is that the broken yeah. one? Oh, Is it I broken? It. it works sometimes. It sounds, it sounds good. Yeah. Uh, what else that. happened there? Um, there was this thing we couldn't kill. I fell out of a window. And... There we go. What else happened? Andy, what else happened? Oh my god. Um, like weird. <laughs> I had this weird oh, mask yeah. on right now. Yeah, so he looks creepy as oh. hell. <laughs> this oh, party so doesn't strike you as a good aligned party. But they're not technically evil at the moment yet. Maybe. No, I'm chaotic <laughs> neutral. You don't know how to pin down the alignment of this party, but you know that like they're not going to hurt you. <laughs> On purpose. <laughs> you think that if they tried to hurt you, you could 
probably, you know, hold your own at least and get away. <laughs> um, ironically, though, the creepiest looking one is the he's the lawful. He's the one you have the least to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, I have some gin. It's not from that last part, but it's in this what a jar yeah. that I found from a random place, and now it's I a have jar. It's a lac- lacquered wooden jar. I oh, never identified it. Jar. It's lacquered, yeah. <laughs> I never did anything with it. Just filled it with gin. So oh. I have some gin. I have coffee. I have... I coffee. Is it not identified? <laughs> Wait, is it identifiable? I also have a wand. I don't, know. That... That's just I don't what... know if it's identifiable. Here. <laughs> there. Identified. You have a wand? Is that wand in my inventory identifiable? I just never noticed, but it's got some weird generic description. Uh, if and... you click on the shield, what shield? And, and open up, uh, you know, like the options shield, the item info button. Yeah. And open up the info. Does it not have a circle? It has with... notes with like a sentence of description, and that's it. So there's no circle with a like red circle. Nope. Okay. Then yeah. it's not identified. <laughs> oh. Okay. Can I identify that? Yeah. The next time you take a... Uh, well, you know what? You just took that long rest before this session. And it's yeah. not rigged. I would have identified it. Yeah, if I, I think I can let you do thought that. thought about it. It's Hooray. not something that would have been very helpful in the last combat. So just... There you go. Oh, enemy, enemy detection. detection. Oh, yeah, it's like cool. that helmet that Jedebiah had. Yeah. Um, something I would like to add about my character's face real fast is the teeth part is currently not up, so it's this normal face that you see there. But in combat, it looks like that. Oh, okay. So you, you have the hood. Yeah, I haven't been able to make it look good without having it being completely painted over like that. So. I've just been... Just been imagining like the sweet faced boy. <laughs> well, it was, <laughs> and then he got a creepy fucking mask. <laughs> You're just wearing that mask for the entire fight. Yeah. So wow. he he pulls it up after you get into the city, and that's the first time you see that he's just like a just a dude. I think that <laughs> him and Adrian are both actually over six feet. They're both tall. Yeah, I think I'm just feet. barely over. Si- I'm six four. Yeah, Devar's huge. My- Wow. Yeah, I'm six four and lanky. <laughs> you know what that reminds me of is when the very first D and D characters I made when I was in like sixth grade, I made my my characters were all like six foot nine and they weighed like hundred and thirty pounds. I had, oh wow. Oh, I, I had no perspective. I had no idea. <laughs> That's what your character reminds me of, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> well no, he's he's purposely it's kinda not, lanky. It's not quite out of the realm of possibility. Well like I when guess. I made Borgo, he was hefty, and then I made, I think, a different yeah. barbarian earlier who was like. Dude, he's pretty two heavy, plus. I guess. But, but he is pretty skinny. This guy, this guy is skinny for sure, because he weighs he as did, much as I do, but he's like a he foot taller. Fourteen hit point wizard, and he weighs a little bit more than you. Yeah, so I got muscles, Andy. Uh, we'll have to calculate the fat hit points per pound. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Chunk of. Anyway, these these people all appear to be pretty crazy, but um, you know, <laughs> you need to do something about those mercenaries out there because, uh, you know, and sometimes crazy gets the job done. Yeah. Oh yeah, the quest. What what is the status on that? I don't remember. Oh well, you did find one clue. Does anybody remember? This? <laughs> uh, was it a whistling skeleton boner hand two finger? That, that is going to come up again in the future, so don't forget about that. It's not just a red herring or okay. a forgotten, unused plot hook. It is going to come back eventually, but no, it's not that. You found a clue at that last place you were at in the mansion. Is it a gnome detective? Did you find a gnome detective? I have a thing in my inventory about a gnome detective. It's a book. A book? Oh. No, that's just what one of the doppelgangers was reading. I think it's just a... Oh, oh yeah, there were doppelgangers. Yeah, that's right. Is that, is that it? No. <laughs> well, at, at the, who did you fight at the very end? It wasn't the illusionist. You don't have any idea where the illusionist is because you didn't you didn't find him. Oh. It was this crazy vampire instead. Oh, that's right. There was a vampire. There was a vampire. Yeah. 
Dude, yeah, we didn't see the illusionist. But he had some shit on him. You don't, you don't remember? He had a tesseract or something. Oh, uh, the tetrahedron. The, the thing yeah. that I have and you don't know. Yeah. That, no. <laughs> Maybe the wizard inside it, and he's the one who just keeps casting your spell and making it permanent. <laughs> That's an illusionist. Is this? Let's see. Turns out this is actually a soul cage. <laughs> What if you should have it in your inventory? I have a tattered photograph that sounds... You do? Then you probably have the other thing, too. It's called Map of Sparrowing Manor. You see it now. Correct. Yeah, yeah we, we theorized that maybe this wasn't... It was like this house was an illusion and it wasn't the real house. Do you remember? Oh, something, you know. It's Basically, it's a map of this house with a different address. It's all the way outside the city. But it looked like the house we were in. It's a map of the house you were in. Okay. Are you telling me the entire house was a doppelganger? Oh, it's a mimic <laughs> or something. The house was a mimic? Oh, God. <laughs> well, I mean, there were two different illusions for most of the rooms in the house, right? But either way, it was still the same house. Um, But, you know, it has directions. It's... Let's see. I, I read something. It's um located on a hill about a half a mile east of the city, surrounded by like a hedgerow wall, and um there's directions to get there. So you could at least <laughs> check it out. It's on the east side of the city. Do we have um, time to check it out before these uh people start ransacking every... places? Well, the the farms outside. We, you know, they're probably just going to start pillaging and shit, and there's not really much we can do about that. But, um, they probably won't attack the city for a few days at least, maybe like a week. So you oh. do have time. We, if we can find this illusionist, then we're in business. So, okay. Um, any, any clues you have at all would be very helpful. And I'm talking as the guild executor again. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we have the map and we have. I'm going to present both the map and the photograph, because maybe he can recognize the person in it. The photograph, let's see, what's that? Tattered? Graph? Tattered photograph. Let's see what it says about This is a photograph of a, of a being one word, beautiful Ufa. woman holding it's a female German, baby. German spelling. Uh, who looks to be about right. 12 to 14 months <laughs> he old. He looks at the picture, and he's like, fuck even is this. Okay. Wait, did you say a beautiful woman who's 12? Weeks old, what? A, a beautiful woman <laughs> holding a baby who oh, looks to be okay. about 12 to 14 years old. That's what I thought you said too. I, I trouble with read, make, have. And the speak, yeah, make, um, do. So it's, it's this really, um, it's an actual photograph, right? He's never even seen a photograph before. He's like, what the fuck? Um, what sorcery is this? <laughs> yeah. But no, he doesn't recognize these people. He's like, I have no idea who that is, but good luck. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I have a feeling it might have... Well, we got this with the... Uh, we got the photograph with the previous um, illusionary house fights, right? But you found it on the vampire. Okay. You found the photograph and the map. Okay. And thick iron key. Yes, and I got that as well. It looks like you took all three of them. Yes. And I think that was all that was on him check again let's go to the um diviner and have the diviner look at the photo and then she can use her divinity power to tell us where we can get a beer (laughs) (laughs) and some potions you mean yeah oh yeah and we should get some potions from her load up some andy would be a good idea you owe me one andy here's a map of i will give you one potion Wait. Did you open it? Oh, it was Did I open what? Still? There's a map. What what else was I supposed to open? Oh, I don't know. Was, oh. Holy the, shit. Oh. That's what oh. happens when you don't resize your tokens, Andy. Yeah. Yeah, Andy. Can't believe it. Wait, is that true? If there was a grid on it, it would have worked <laughs> fine, but it's like a huge picture. See? <laughs> <laughs> and there's some weird glitch where once it gets loaded once all big 
then you have to completely change the file name because even if you make it smaller after that, it will still stay big, just <laughs> pixely. <laughs> oh, wow. glitch. But yeah, that's that's what she looks like. So she's she's kind of like mid thirties, but kind of young looking. She's wizard. She's um, let's see what level is she? She's level eight, but she's just a diviner, so she's not much of a combat person. But it, you know, she she'd be willing to do some spells on the house or at least have you pay for the components if it'll help, you know, save the city. Did you yes. want to ask her about potions too? She's like, yeah, I know. Do you have okay. any potions that didn't get I mean I said to be insensitive. Do she you want to ask her if, if like <laughs> she can give you her potions? Yes, we're in need we will be in need of potions, I believe, because this guy hmm. loves to get too close to my fireballs. Are you talking about healing potions? She doesn't have any healing potions. She has oh. a couple that um help her scrying ability. But um yeah. Oh, yeah. There are some potion people in this town, surely. Um that aren't panicking and freaking out and trying to get well, they might be panicking and freaking out, but most people are trying to buy stuff like food. Uh, do, does she have any um, fire resistance potions? Fire resistance? Uh, she knows how to make them. That's good. It's a start. Oh well, but we'll come back to that. Have any materials? Yeah, if you ever needed her to craft a simple type of potion like that, she could do it for you. But so could these other potion vendors. Yeah. You remember? Oh. I'll point you to the crafting rules. Reddit. Oh. Dated magic item creations. Here is there just word. like a billboard in the town that is titled Reddit, which has all this information on it? Uh, yeah, it's version? like um, like you have like a Rolodex in your backpack. Nice. It's called the Reddit. Yeah, the Redditx. Nice. I'll put it in the chat that has a picture of a kitty in it. Oh, it's a kitten! Yeah. Okay. We also have this photo. Uh, Devar does. This guy with the creepy mask. You want me to cast some divinations on it? It's a good idea. Yeah. Figure Can out a that? little bit more about it. <laughs> I don't have any divin- I have lots of magical powers, believe me. But I don't know how to do that. How does it work? Let me see what Legend Lord does. I have Jeez. enchantment. I can charm people. She has all these high level spells. She doesn't cast very often, so she has to look them up on her spell. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, legend lore. You could describe a person, and she. Oh, okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. I think she could cast that for you on this photograph. That might be exactly what you should do. Let me look at her spell list, see if she's got anything else. I forget the name. Isn't there one that's like, is that Guidance or something? Um, well, this or one... Locate Object. Is there Locate Person? She has Locate Object also, um, and Locate Creature. Yeah. Which more will tell you information about an object or a person, so she could cast that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, let's do that. How much does that cost? Um, yeah, see, that's that's uh, her high, one of her highest level spells. So you might have to pay for some material components. It's a fifth yeah. level spell, but I she'll do. cast it this once for for you know cost. <laughs> cost. Have, have any material cost? So yeah, she can do that one for free, but only once. It costs percent um, price percent. Locate creature. Also, it doesn't have any material components. I mean, you can just give okay. the price of the scroll or something. That's fine. It has to be someone who's familiar to you. Well, I mean, we've seen their face in this photograph. They're kind of familiar to us now. Yeah, but... <laughs> no, nah, yeah, yeah. That's a picture of the vampire. <laughs> like, but the I, baby. I don't know how that has anything to do with the illusionist. The baby. Um, there were a bunch of pictures of people in the house, but you didn't really look at him very closely. Do you want to go see if you can find a picture that looks like it's also the vampire? Oh, uh, yeah. Have her bring her stuff. Um, 
have Rooka, you can go back to the, the house that's inside the city that you already cleared. Yeah, maybe she can dispel some of the illusion crap. Too. Yeah, she'll go down there with you. Um, she doesn't have a horse, so she has to ride on one of y'all's. Oh, and also, oh. I, don't I don't think Ava a has a horse. Um, no. Sutton Greer has these three extra horses that he brought in case the other party didn't have horses. So he gives you three. Congratulations, oh, so come free horse. Yeah. That's your payment <laughs> for now. <laughs> okay. Get yourself paid up for the next you know, week or so. <laughs> well, it might also be our food. But you want to take the other two horses, horses are for We got extra horses. You don't need horses to man walls. No. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to need the extra food if they take the farms. So it is not a war horse. It is just a riding horse. Let's see, tech and parts. It does have a saddle thing, all that good stuff. Stabling it doesn't have a stabling. It's a riding saddle. Good. Okay, congratulations. You have a horse. You're a member of the Adventurers Guild of Dorney. Congratulations. Yeah. He shows I'm you. Stare at my horse and just. He shows you how to salute. <laughs> <laughs> Have Show you ever seen a horse what? before in your life? He he teaches you how to how to do the salute. It's a special. You salute. hold a L shape on your forehead. <laughs> Does that? <laughs> no. Make sure it's your left hand, though. It's the only way to make it look right. Right. So, have you ever seen a horse before? No. That's probably your decision. Maybe not. I don't. I mean. I bet y'all have like. Mountain donkeys and stuff like that, right? <laughs> like but mules horse, and stuff, probably. Yeah, exactly. So this horse, you've never seen a horse this big. You've heard of them, but you're just <laughs> like, he's just giving it to you for free. It's like, wow, I'm a real adventurer now. <laughs> 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 Video game style. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I got, I got, I got a lot of cool things. I've gathered a lot. Yeah, I'm you're a bit of a hoarder. Yeah, I carry things. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta have at least one. We don't have a jet in our group, so you know. Yeah, right. I have a gun. You do. Oh. Yeah, it's like an heirloom at this point. Arkless. Have He's probably been? never seen a gun either. Oh, you've definitely never seen a gun. Yeah. They're very yeah. uncommon. He he does have eight bullets, but he can't buy any more. Yeah. It's from across the sea where they have guns. Right, you should learn to be able to turn it into a magic gun that shoots magic bullets. <laughs> That's a cool idea, Andy. Give it the yeah. infinite ammo enchantment. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Use like those like missiles, what are the, the magic missiles? Oh, yeah. magic <laughs> missile bullets. That's amazing. <laughs> we should. It's okay, the headshots well, all the time. So let's let's cast these divinations then. So she she's gonna go ahead and cast legend lore on. The photograph, and then y'all can go to the house that's in the city and look at some of those paintings in there because that house is pacified. Uh, no more illusions in it. Or is uh, it well, still she, all she's, a, she's a diviner, she'll just cast true seeing on herself. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. Oh, so we're yeah. like, what about this painting? And it's just a rotted wall instead, <laughs> <laughs> she's just like, uh. Come on, Damn it. <laughs> you make me roll all of her charisma saves. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what like is finally role playing um, correctly? This is this just a picture of what is it? Just a woman holding a, a girl is all it is. There's no guy in the picture, right? No guy, just a woman and a little baby. All right. So um, she can tell. That this woman was very happy, happily married once, and really excited about it. But then, at some point, the baby died, and this oh. woman was heartbroken, and the husband was withdrawn, and then the woman committed suicide. Oh. She she can't give you like details or pictures, but she gets the gist of it. So that's. What happened started good ended terribly okay got uh, it yeah it's too bad it's, it's she says it's a horrible fate she she feels for the 
Her name is Amelia von Gauss. Uh, and the baby is named Victoria Gauss. Uh, okay. She, like, closes her eyes when she gets that last bit of information. She's like, there, that's your, that's your big piece that you get from the... Does she recognize that second name, or...? No, she has no idea who these people are. She's okay. just had divinations. So she's <laughs> like, there, that's the clearest detail that she can find. Okay. So I'm going to add those two names to the photographic description. Von Klaus. Damn it. Sorry. I think. Let me double check. Yeah, there's an L. And Giving us wrong information, us... Sabino. Oh, uh, it's... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do any of us know the name Von of that enchanter Klaus. we're looking for? Is it the same last name for the enchanter guy? No, the enchanter's name was Erlock Sparrowing. That's right. And he's supposed to have a son named... Albrecht Sparrowing, who's also an illusionist. And then he has a son named Martholomew Sparrowing, who's also an illusionist. It's kind of weird. A lot of, you know, rare kind of, these guys think that it's just the same guy, but they're really not sure what the deal is. Um, it turned out you ran into the youngest son, Bartholomew, but he was a doppelganger. And so you don't really know what's going on. Oh, so the, the all house. those kids could be doppelgangers, or they could be actual people. We just don't know the truth yet. Well, there's only one kid, and he was doppelganger, so it could be that the illusionist is all three people, but he's just gone, and this doppelganger was pretending to be one. Or they yeah. could have all been doppelgangers, and there's still two out there, or there's three different illusionists. All right. And so they're all up there. You don't know, but you get there, and you, you look at all the different portraits. You find three different portraits. Um, of the three different guys, and despite the older one looking older and stuff, you know they do kind of look very similar. But so you know, it, being related kind of could also um, trick us too. Absolutely, it's not proof. Um, and Greer is no longer with you, but Wickham, she's been around here and she's here with you, and she's like, I don't. I don't really know anything about this family because this he's very reclusive. Um, and the one that you're looking for who's supposedly very high level is the eldest. So it could really just be that they're like his apprentices each, you know, so it could be like the level 15, the level 9, and the level 4 or something like that. There's yeah. really no reason to believe there's anything ridiculous going on. <laughs> <laughs> no reason at all anyway um, the thing is is that they actually do kind of look similar to that vampire you killed too the the body of the vampire do anything weird or is it yeah, still there it, uh, no it turned to dust okay yeah is it vampires the, that like um, respawn at well that was the deal thing. he had um. Well, presumably he had just been defeated, and what it does is he turns to gaseous form and retreats back to his coffin and reforms there, and then can't come back until the next night. Okay. Um, and presumably something like that had happened because he was unable to turn to gaseous form, and so when you killed him, you just like his coffin was there. You just had to. You know, chop off his head and he died. And so cool. he turned into dust. It was yep. the easiest vampire kill that you'll ever have. Or so you think. <laughs> oh, no, I was metagaming. <laughs> or so you think. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> um, so do you want her to cast, like, locate creature on one of these pictures? Yeah. All right, she casts locate creature, and I guess she can cast it on all three. None of them are within one thousand feet of the house, which regrettably is not that far. 
it doesn't really go up oh. outside of the city, but that's the limit of the spell. Damn. Well. It's good if you're like in a dungeon trying to find like a hostage. On one side or maybe somewhere in town looking for someone else inside town. Looking for a needle in a haystack. Pretty good for that. Uh, what should we do now? Should we, no. like, haul a painting around and just keep spamming that spell? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you can go buy potions, and then you can go check out that other house, see if it's where it says it's supposed to be outside oh, the city. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's go to the other... We don't need to get potions right now. You don't want to? Yeah. <laughs> nah, right. let's just go. <laughs> I guess we technically got two healers now, so... Yeah, they well, still have three toast healing, so Y'all want to okay. rest the femurs out of... Yeah, like, definitely definitely take yeah, a little bit of a out. rest. Do a long rest? Or yep. short rest? Do a full, yeah. complete rest. <laughs> have a little bit of a rest. <laughs> it's like in Neverwinter Nights 2. You just press R and take a knee for six seconds and you get all your spells back. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, and yeah, didn't somebody call it that you were going to forget about this hostage as soon as you made it inside the city? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, it's hostage definitely been more than a minute. Up. <laughs> Which, I guess <laughs> you tied him up, right? Yeah, so, we tied him yeah. up, and he's with yeah, the guild um, command. So there's a there's a prison in the Adventurers Guild. It's the same as like the Town Guard. It's all affiliated, um, and they're like in part of the same compound, the Town Guard barracks and everything. So it, Rear can take this guy to the prison and put. Him. But if there's anything you want to ask him, now that he's conscious, you can interrogate him if you want. Ooh, can we figure out some strategic weak points among their group? Maybe. Oh yeah, ask him what it felt like with that fireball exploding all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know, we can come back to the prisoner. No, he has an answer for your question, Adrian. Oh, then he I says... do ask. He uses one word, and he says, oven-like. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah. I like this guy. Toasty. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not what he says, Davar. He says, oven-like. Oven-like? Yeah. Oven-like. Yeah. I Googled, yeah. I Googled it. What's the best <laughs> word? Oven-like. Nice. I got a, I got a question. Are you, are you happy? Are you happy to be alive? Sure, of course he is. What kind of a question yeah. is that? I, I don't know. One that Ethan would ask. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> are you asking him if he wants you to kill him? <laughs> oh, she would. <laughs> okay. Well, then no, you... no, no. Thanks. He says no thanks. Oh, that's very nice of you to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, like, yeah, ask him, is he a mercenary, or is he, like, part of the other faction? Yeah, that's a good question. Oh, yeah, he's a mercenary. See, yeah. do you remember what I told you about that battle a while back? Do you want him to remind you about the battle? Or maybe he could sort correct of... some of the rumors? Maybe he can jog our memories or you two. You remember? It was that thing that you kept asking if it was relevant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I they told you it was. Like, Started writing your notes, and I was like, oh, oh my god. All right, I'll read this whole thing back to you again. <laughs> oh, my god. <laughs> no, if you look at your notes, it's called the Battle of the Mountain Pass. Um, And the gist of it was that <laughs> there were a bunch of the English defenders, and then they were being attacked by a bunch of French guys. And... That's actually what they're called, because I didn't come up with something very original. So, um, the English people didn't have as many soldiers, so they had these mercenaries with them. And the battle turned into a bloodbath, and then at the end, there were only two mercenary companies left, and they turned on the English, and they killed everybody else. Then they fought each other, and these are the guys that won. So they're like, they're like the only survivors of the whole battle. <laughs> um, <laughs> and... You know, that was what pissed you off so much about it, Ava. It was, it was like, what? I was going to say, was that the battle? Or was that the... Yeah, 
this is the one that you stumbled upon. Mm-hmm. And so you've actually seen the battlefield, and it was pretty horrid. They didn't bury or burn anybody, so it's just getting eaten by animals Ooh. and stuff. You know, it's just a terrible. Yeah. It probably smells awful. Mm-hmm. It did smell awful. Yeah. It probably tastes bad, too. Yeah, so this guy's kind of unhinged. You know, he's he's like a bandit pirate mercenary guy. Um, he tells you that their leader is named Captain Sayer. You already knew that, but that's the biggest piece of information you can get out of this guy. He tells you that your estimate of how how many was correct. It's about twenty seven hundred. They're nice. all there. Yeah, so. And I have a feeling this guy is a little low on the uh, pay grade that he probably won't know any like current plans or strategies yeah. or anything to get out of him. He is the lowest level mercenary. Yeah, I had a feeling we probably could have saved that other guy and probably got a bit more info, but... Yeah, either that or he might have been more resistant to questioning. Oh, I could have made him talk. He had a wide-brimmed hat, man. Yeah, I could make my mask into a wide brim hat if I wanted to. He's he got nothing special. Leather armor. That's how much balls that guy had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now he's dead. Yeah. He's not scared of a mask. <laughs> well, yeah, now he's dead. That's what bravery gets you. Yep. Life lessons everywhere. That's what happens when you forget to use your leadership. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so let's. All right, so let me roll some dice to see how many potions you can buy. Um, There's two different guys you can go to. One of them is in Foxside, and he'll probably have more potions. But there's another guy up in Bandwidth on the shady side of town that's more on your way out of town, so it'd be quicker to stop there. Or you go to both. Let's go to the shady part of town. There's sure. nothing quite like mystery potions. Yeah, he's close <laughs> down to the Rogers round, so it's good to make with this guy anyway. Or possibly watered down potions now that I've given Sabito the idea. Oh. <laughs> well, those would be cheaper after all. If you want to roll those D4 plus ones. <laughs> Do we have points? Yes. Okay. We could buy twice as much. I mean, that's pretty useful if you've got low HP and you don't want to overheal. Or what if it was a, a potion that just does spare the dying? <laughs> <laughs> so, if you want to use it you can't use it on yourself. <laughs> it means they don't want to give you a better potion. <laughs> they don't care if you come back up. Let me look. I need to look up this guy's name real quick. Good. A random name. Okay. Oh, good. This guy's name is Francis Doddle. Yeah, Doddle. That's how I like that. Doddle. Francis Doddle is a bald, short alchemist. Oh. <laughs> Does that sound like he was randomly generated to y'all? <laughs> <laughs> it's Francis Doddle. Um, a bald, short alchemist. He operates near the Rogers Round. Which is kind of y'all's base of operation for the time being. Nice. Well, let's buy as many okay. potions as we can, and you, go, you buy all those potions. Uh, make an good. order for him to make even more slightly higher level potions. Okay. Every time we come back to town, you got to pay in advance. Increasing with our level. Oh shit. <laughs> Pretty sure I have like zero money. Yeah. Oh, right. You you don't even know what they use for money in this town. Yeah. So far, you've just been given a horse. That's your, your <laughs> the extent of your knowledge of economics. <laughs> <laughs> if you kill enough bad guys, people just give you what you need. The currency is called Dorny Dongs. Dorny Dongs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so are we going to pay him in advance? Because... <laughs> Yeah, Rad, what, what well, money are you sorry, paying with? I was looking up the different potions so that oh. I could figure out how many he has on stock. Yeah, he's going so, through his inventory, guys. Ah, all right, all right. Yeah, we'll just he has... Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
Did oh. he drop something? Oh, okay. check on him? He came oh, with like, hey guys, I got all these potions. And he drops all of them onto the ground. It's <laughs> like, well, I guess I don't got these oh. anymore. No, it's just weird the way it worked out. He has, um, of the regular healing potions, he has five. Um, then of the next tier up, he only has one, but then he has four, three potions. Take them all! Yeah, Andy so how much do those much cost? How much, would, how much would it cost? Yeah. Rare. Four D four. Right. Roll four D four three times. Four D four three times. Yeah. So wait, uh, three of you roll it once. So Brad roll oh. it once. That's for the regular potions. So Andy roll it for the uncommon potions. And Ethan rolls rare. Okay. Teamwork. So... How much money do y'all have, by the way? Uh, I have 9,000 okay. gold. So these <laughs> potions of superior healing cost 3,000 gold each. Holy shit! Superior. One of those down. Please. The potion of greater healing costs 800 gold. Uh, and the regular potions of healing cost 80 gold each. There's well, I'll buy all the littlest ones, because I can use those. Okay. So, <laughs> there's five of those that cost 400 gold to buy all of them. I will take. How many were there? Five of them. Five They're of in the them. party sheet. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so you can pull them out if you're buying them. There It'll be 400 gold for all those. Then does somebody want to pay 800 for the next one? Um... The the expensive ones they heal eight d four plus eight so they're they're good. They're hefty ones. Yeah, they also take a long time to craft. So if you want to come back and buy them later, you know they'll still be here. I have a oh, feeling wait, we'll buy those later and we'll buy them. Oh, unless I mean, there's somebody might come and buy them. You never know. <laughs> well, we've we've uh, ordered. Well, I guess if we're going to order, we have to pay ahead, right? Or is it like I, a reduced fee much now? Money y'all have. I know that. I know that at least one of you can afford a couple of them. <laughs> Well, I mean, I have 9,000. I think yeah, I can. it happens to be, Devar. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to buy them. Why don't you just buy the Greater Healing? We'll call it I, was gonna call, I was just going to buy the Greater Healings. And... Okay. Oh, and I, Speedo? Do you want to buy one of these Supreme, Superior Healings? Oh, I'm good on healing. I, I, sure. I, even, I, like, I have a second wind feat that I never use. Uh, yeah. I should probably... <laughs> I should probably use that, so I'm going to try to utilize that maybe a little bit more. Is that a healing feat? Or does that let you attack? It gives yeah, you direction, right? It gives... No, it's just you you um, you draw on stamina, so you regain HP uh, oh, like 1 to 10 plus so fighter cool. level. So I thought nice. that's pretty good. That's pretty good, yeah. It's, it's pretty much a potion. So you said you only had the one greater healing? That's right. How um, much was that? Identified, by the way? 800 gold. What, Radley? They just say potion, and they have a generic description. Can you identify oh, them? Yes, I can. <laughs> and also the ones I already looted. Right. Oh, I can move them back if that's easier for you. Potion of yeah, healing. we took a long rest. It says they're identified already. Here, identify these two. Okay. Thanks. Uh-huh. But you also don't have to identify things that you're buying. So this guy tells you what they are. Unless you don't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you see it in the party sheet, Andy? Yeah, I, I'm I manually put it in my thing. So How? I didn't didn't see it was in the party sheet until after. How did you do it manually? I I already had potion of greater healing listed. It just had zero, so I just added a one and then I took the money out of my thing. Oh, I see. Mathematical. All right, excellent. And how many did you want to order? Um, the crafting cost is. Let's see. I think it's just half. You guys just kept half. It That's easy. Um, well, I'll do five you, more. Why not? You get to roll again. Um, I don't what know. is the rolling for? I don't know what the rolling was for. Oh no, the cost and crafting times for brewing potions. Okay. If you want to craft, you don't have to roll anything for these. It's just the base cost. The rolling was for haggling, basically. Um, 
if you want him to actually craft it, it'll cost 25 regular potion, and that takes a day. 100 gold to get you a potion of greater healing, which will take a week. 1,000 gold to get the potion of superior healing, which will take three weeks. Okay, I'll buy eight regular ones for 200 gold then. All right, so in eight days, they'll be ready, and you can come pick up half of them. Okay, what is today? Where's the calendar? Today is Marpanoth 1, I believe. It's the book. Second to the top on the left of the little buttons. Um, Adrian orders eight pushes of healing. Cool. Anybody else want to order some potions? Hmm. How much would it be for a couple potions of greater healing? Like three of them? <laughs> I keep um, forgetting numbers. 100 gold piece. And it takes a week. Okay. A week is when they'll be the, they'll be here, so it works. <laughs> Wait, can we pay extra for Amazon Prime? <laughs> I, no, unless you want to craft it yourself, that's the only way. Oh. Yeah. That's a true Amazon Prime. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you want to pay extra, he will deliver it. To the, it's like 100 feet from the Rogers Brown. Drop it off for you. <laughs> 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 well, there's no telling that we would be there to pick it up. Someone could okay. steal it from our porches, Radley. We're just going to get a security camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey. So you don't want to order any of those then, because it takes a week each potion? Uh, Pay off eventually. I think we'll be fine. What about you, Eason? He'll probably yeah, just have some in yeah. stock next time. Ava, would you like somebody to buy I would be willing to you? foot some bills for potions for you, if you would like. Sure. Seeing how I'm not <laughs> she buying. Doesn't even know, she doesn't even really know what's happening, because she doesn't know what currency is so she's just watching like things being traded and words being exchanged the funny thing is they're not quite aware that you're kind of a healer yet <laughs> <laughs> i can see why we're, we're so used really... to the femur <laughs> it's just like yeah we don't have a we don't have a healer <laughs> <laughs> you actually have two <laughs> these usually come in handy when you know things go south well, let's say that Devar orders another eight for Ava, then, just because that makes sense. How much gold do I have to take out? 200 gold. 200 gold? Yeah. There's another eight. Yeah, and it's good value. I don't even... Wait, can I roll to see if Easton's even aware that she's been following us? Like, <laughs> she's been with us? Well, no, you asked her that one question, right? Oh no, that was. It was we were no. we were talking on the way into town, but since then, right. um, yeah, since then, yeah. Go ahead and roll a uh, roll a perception check. All right, uh, she's kind of just oh, no, I doubt yeah. shock. Yeah, what's going on, guys? You know, you you notice she's there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm okay. In the corner. <laughs> yeah. She's she's been she's been around. She's been with y'all for a while, you think? <laughs> really just a, another random guard we picked up who wants to help fight, I guess. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, I gotta get this guy is not with you anymore. This guy. Oh, it's the first turn. Person. Yay, it's, it's my turn. turn. <laughs> How many crits can I get this round? <laughs> not enough. Is there a reason why Hexblade things are listed twice? Well, they're two yep. different things. Oh. Right? One oh. of them's your advantage. Oh. The other one's advantage in melee. One of them only lasts 10 rounds. If I get rid of both of them, do you remember how to put it back up? Yeah, I have a button with it right okay. here. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of both of them, and then now you just put it back up. Okay, so that's what you should have. 
yeah, I put this button here just in case things yeah, don't work out as planned. Hey, could you rest us so we get the HPs cleared and the yeah, spells? Yeah, of course. Clear. Spell Where are you slots rest? filled. Are you gonna rest at Roger's round? Yeah. Oh, okay. if it's it's late enough at night, so one of the potions is ready at midnight now. <laughs> 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 no, you get a rest to hold. Wait a whole day before they're ready, unfortunately. That's fine. Um, if there's anything you want to get attuned to, is that one or attunement? That ring of fire for what's your face? The wand of enemy detection. Yeah, yeah like a figure. Yeah, you're actually already attuned to it. You just forgot to put it on. Now you've got it on. <laughs> oh. I'll put my ring on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now that you know what would happen if you don't. <laughs> Um, no, but th that's the funny thing is—is is it? It would have done it automatically, mm -hmm. and it does the same thing as succeeding in a saving throw. But because I went back and changed it manually after you rerolled, yeah. we forgot. So it was completely my fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll be much better. Did you look at those feats that I wrote out there? Yeah, I looked at section. them. Yeah. Um, I changed shield swipe a little bit because that's pretty much what it was already. So I just made it into a grapple attack that was easier to remember. Right. It was something weird. It was like, roll the DC is 10 plus your strength modifier, and it was... <laughs> grapple check. Knock him down. Pretty good. Oh, wait, didn't I get a plus one to something? I don't oh, think yes, I did that's that right. Yet. Did I tell you to choose and then you didn't? You get to add. I did, but I don't think text. I, I uh, right. added it too. Yeah, do you remember how to change those numbers? Nope. <laughs> Not at all. I, I can do it for you. Wheel. If you want. Here, I'll go ahead and. Dexterity 15. Oh, You're good to go. There we go. Yeah. Unless you change your mind, you want to put it to your strength. Nope. I'm good. There you go. All right, so y'all want to go on to the adventure? <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, the next clue? Yep. All right, cool. The you, house that uh, looks like one we've been to. Isn't get it? up on your horses. You ride over to the house. Let's see. Like I said before, it's about a half a mile east of the city. There's a, a sturdy road out here, but... um. It's real swampy, and um, it's kind of cool. There's there's people that live out here. It's just not good land. It's it's more of a, um, I don't know. Yeah. It's a swamp. It's a production. That means there's place. lizard folk here. They make stuff here, but not food. It's the humans that live here. It's part of the city. Oh, that's what I'm trying to say. I see. I'm also trying to open up the map at the same time. That's why it sounds like I'm saying. Alright. Those of you who are in this party may recognize this map. I recognize oh, that yeah. front door. <laughs> you may recognize it more and more and more as you explore more than just the front door. Wow, that was oh. too many of those words. It's those rhymes. Yeah, I don't even think good. it counts as rhyming because it's alliteration. Well, I don't think it counts as that either because There's... every it was always the word more except for the one time when it was the word door. It has similar <laughs> sounds. There's a term it's repetition. For it. Repetition. Um, it's pleasing. That's all. Thank you. <laughs> it's all good. Um, so the one that was inside the city was just kind of like on a lot surrounded by other mansions, you know, and it, it had a little bit of a yard. Here, I'll open up the other picture too. That this is what the actual map that you have in your pocket, well, kind of looks like. It doesn't have numbers on it or grids. <laughs> but this is the gist of the house, right? It's got two stories, and then it's got an attic level with a trap door. And there's a garden out back with a back door and a front door. Those are the only two ways in. So this time, it's actually surrounded by a great big hedgerow fence, and the gate lies open. And there's a path that looks like it winds its way up to the front door. You're at this gate right now. And uh, we just went to the old house, so Ailegilafu also was in the old house, right? Right, so you, she saw the older mm -hmm. house. 
which is the same house. Knock. I knocked okay. last time. That went pretty knock well up until to I the got front door. Yeah. This time, even give us coffee. there's an old empty mailbox next to the door, right? And on the other house, it said sparrowing, as it should have, right? This time, though, it says von Klaus. <gasps> but otherwise, the house looks exactly the same so far. Maybe like a little newer, or newer. Hard to say. Because the illusion kind of fucked with it last time. <laughs> yeah, the name's different because of the. No, I have no idea. Because it's a different house. Duh. Yeah. You'll, have, you'll have to explore it to answer the mystery. One of those, like, what are they, model homes where they just copy paste them down an entire street? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, anyway, let's knock. Is yeah, anyone good for that? Yeah, go for okay. it, Wizrad. Okay. Would you like All to right. use the femur? Uh, no. Knocking on a door with a bone might be a weird thing to do. <laughs> they won't know <laughs> until they open the door, so you can do it and I'm then hide the femur. <laughs> I'm just going to go up to the door and knock on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> don't knock on it. I don't know. Well, don't worry. Nobody's hurting the femur's feelings. He's just here to help. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go for it. Oh, no, nobody answers. Uh -oh. oh, sorry. Oh, well. <laughs> now we use the femur to pick the lock. I was looking at the wrong sheet anyway. Um... Yeah, we have lock picking tools. Come on, Adrian, let's go. Wait, is it even locked? We didn't oh. try. Oh, I have I have something I can read. Okay, um, as you make your way up the carriage path, you notice that both the path and the estate have seen better days. The path is littered with weeds and patches of tall grass, while the farming fields look like small jungles. Eventually, after a long and winding walk, the mansion itself comes into view. The fog is thick, and it wraps itself around the property like a cloak. There's a large set of double doors, almost dead center in the front of the house, and um, they also seem to have, there also seems to have been several windows, but they're all currently bricked up. And there's the remains of a smashed, beaten carriage in the middle of the path, exactly where it ends, and overgrown grass on either side of the building, more than six feet tall. Would you oh. like to investigate the doors that you just knocked upon? This sounds like the sort of house where someone who killed themselves lives. Oh. <laughs> that doesn't really make sense. <laughs> it's the uh, house where bad things have happened, so I'm sure no one's home. We could probably just open the door. For... It's locked. Just oh. general enchantment. See, the double front doors, they're made out of mahogany with intricate oh, no. carving patterns and impressive iron locks, all of which still appear in good condition. There's also oh there's a pulley next to the doors connected to a copper bell that you can use like a doorbell to announce visitors. Do you want to try that? Yes, but after I probably fail at checking for magic enchantments. Oh okay. Do you cast a spell magic? Is that a ritual? Mm, he's just oh no! Arcana. I mean, I just uh, want to sorry, check uh, and see if detect, there's any magic, especially magic. with that fog that appears to be cloaking the house. Okay, you can make a arcana check. You can also cast detect magic as a ritual. Oh, perfect! Let me make an arcana check. <laughs> yeah, music there we go. The fog appears like something that could be supernatural in a sense or something like that, but um, you don't really know anything about it. When you think about it again, though, you still no. You don't think it's magical, at least. Not mm. a spell. You think if you cast a spell magic on the fog, it wouldn't go away. That's your conclusion. Ah, okay. Well, in that case, we should ring the bell. So I give it a little bell. <laughs> you ring, do you ring the bell? I guess so. We... He's saying he's ringing the bell. <laughs> All right. Adrian tries to ring the bell. It breaks off and clatters to the paving stones. Oops. Use the uh, bone. Good job, Rad. Now they won't let us in because we broke their stuff. Devar, how could you? <laughs> <laughs> so I guess nobody knows how to pick locks anymore. The lock itself, it looks pretty sturdy, but it's, it's you know, it's old and simple. You think I could break it? You I was about to say, you think you could break it? <laughs> you yeah. could try. Strength, oh, I... Yeah, strength check, I guess. Sure, that would be fine. I have knock. Um, Are you trying to just like Break it with your hands, or bust, kick it, or are you trying to actually pry it off with 
something. Uh, I'm probably just gonna hit it with the hilt of my sword or something. I have a okay. shovel. I don't know. I'm gonna take a shovel and try you to take hit a shovel it. to it. <laughs> yeah, I might as well use it. <laughs> Dig that door. Well. Um, yeah, you, you know, it's the the type of the type of thing that makes you think. If you hit it a couple more times, you probably have it. <laughs> okay. You know, you, can I can I help? It's promising. Okay. You can help, Devar. What do you have? You're gonna do like the hilt of your spear? Yeah. Okay. Wait. Before we do that, let's yeah. just try to open the door. It was oh, okay. locked. It's... Wait, it is locked. Try it? Oh, okay. Just make it sure. Yeah. <laughs> strength um, save. Strength save. If you strength... had the key, that would make things a lot easier. Oh, hey, hey, let's see what this iron key does and see if oh. this opens the door. You have a key? What is Big that? iron key. Goodbye. That's you very convenient. A... Maybe you should try hitting it with the key. Yeah, I, can I hit the door with the key? Did you get that? from the pocket of the guy who lives here that you killed? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey, this I got key I keep idea. forgetting I have. This work. It's really heavy. Alright, open the door. <laughs> Alright, you, you use the key and it uh, unlocks the door. Good work. Work, wow. everybody. That was the hardest challenge yeah. in this house. Um, <laughs> oh, I know what I'll do. Just because you're so good at solving riddles, Dabar, I will give you an inspiration point. But I still have the inspiration from before. <laughs> I guess it's wasted. That's, that's too bad. Ah, oh, yeah. Can I use this inspiration to keep the new inspiration? If you like. Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so you open the door. We're running. It opens creakily, like in a haunted house. Oh, it actually says that. As you enter through the creaky yet solid front doors, <laughs> <laughs> the smell of musty and moldy air hits your noses. Mm. Um, it smells like... Sorry, just to... That's good, though. It's good when it doesn't smell inviting. <laughs> Why? Right. Oh, sorry. Because um, it's usually there's, why. there's oh, a chill right. in the air. Sorry. There's a chill in the air that makes you shiver. Um, immediately to the west is a closed door. Does not appear to be locked. To the east is a second door, as well as a set of stairs going up the second floor. The stairs look rotten and don't look very safe. Then up ahead is a longer hallway with five doors, two on the east, two on the west, and one at the very end. Five feet inside the front doors, and directly overhead is a huge brass chandelier that holds six glass lanterns on its arms. Wow, that I don't want to walk underneath of. You don't? No. Okay. Do you want me to put a circle where it would, where it, it, it's hanging over? Yes. Okay. Since you asked, I, I wouldn't have done that normally, but, you know, if, if it's something that you think would be helpful, mark it. Well, considering everything else wants to... Oh, shit, it's everywhere! <laughs> you, you can squeeze through one of those squares. Oh, oh, there's nothing to worry about. It's just a chandelier. Mm -hmm. You ever got hurt by a chandelier? I, I do the thing, like, when you've got, like, an old shack, and you're not sure if it's very sturdy, you, like, put your foot in and stomp on the ground a few times. You like do cast that. a fireball and trigger any traps? No, <laughs> don't do that. Yet. Okay. Well, stop yeah, on the, the floor. floor uh, the floor is not gonna give if you step through into. Okay. The chandelier doesn't fall on my head. No. Okay, that's good. Okay. Well then, let's go in this door on the left and see if anyone's in there wanting to give us coffee again. All right. <laughs> go ahead and move your tokens. Uh. Yeah. Through the door. Yeah, you can go first. There. Yep. Cool. 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 Yep. <laughs> Click and drag them, right? Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> yeah. Adrian, Adrian right. hops up the stair well just to keep so, out of this. I just want to make sure that this is where everybody's going to be when you open the door. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> I'll open the door. <laughs> okay. Yes. Ethan opens the door. Um. <laughs> They set up a trap that causes the, <laughs> 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 the chandelier to fall from the ceiling. <laughs> that, was a, that was a good call. Um, I was uh, trying to figure out how to word it. I didn't want to say 
this is where it would fall if it fell. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the six glass lamps, they burst and spill oil over everybody in that area, and there's hidden oh, flints no. that spark it all up. So it's oh. just a big burst of fire. So everybody has to make a dexterity saving throw in DC 20. Uh-oh. Tomato? Yeah. I would have disadvantage on that because I'm afraid of fire. Uh-oh. You, you were also just out of range. Dexterity? Was... Right, a dexterity save. So it's the right hand column. Yeah. There you go. That's a good one. Oh, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So... It's, you would have made it if you didn't have the disadvantage, too. <laughs> I don't trust this shade. You dropped a 19. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, Ava, you're not in range. So oh, yeah. Good. Yeah, so you're good. Um, <laughs> the Eason and Deborah both take half damage. Oof. Um, yeah, that's what I should have said. It's not like a fireball. Um, so don't worry. <laughs> Until Rad casts it. There, oh, it's worry. a... Six damage to Radley and three damage to everybody else. Oh, okay. Not Holy shit, bad. I can actually manage that. Yeah. But can you manage <laughs> two of those? Damage three. And... Not really. <laughs> You'd still be well, alive. Whoops, sorry, guys. <laughs> I think yeah. I opened the door too quick. <laughs> you scared the chandelier and it fell to its death. I didn't yeah. trust that chandelier. <laughs> Well, you did technically defeat it, though. You you do get experience. <gasps> One. <laughs> Let's see. Oh dear. One hundred thirty <gasps> each. Yeah. Oh, One yeah, you, party. Now you'll know. <laughs> now you know. The next time someone drops a chandelier on you, you know what to expect. <laughs> Cast misty step as it falls. <laughs> oh yeah. That's a bonus action, though, not a reaction. I, I was like. I was thinking about, like, yeah, that'd be cool, but Rad was the one to make the circle, so I'm like, oh, it probably won't fall. I don't need to, like, prepare to <laughs> get out of the way. Right. Um, so, Eason jumps into the room a little bit. It tri triggers another trap. No, I'm just kidding. Um, uh, in this next room, uh, you see several pieces of furniture. There appears to be a waiting room for visitors. There are two wooden chairs with brown leather seats, a side table with an ashtray, a sitting couch that is brown with red trim, and a knee-high table. There is a cross stitch hanging on the wall that reads, Welcome to our home. Would you like to search this room? First, yes. I would like to thank that sign. None of it. You're like welcome. It. <laughs> it, well, it, which is what it said to begin with. You know, it's just doubling down. Hmm. Yeah, there is a creepy-looking doll sitting on the couch. Fucking oh smash it. <laughs> <laughs> but Rad, that's how you release the spirit, and then it can possess any one of us. You don't want to do that. You keep oh, the yeah. spirit in the doll, and you lock away the doll. You're right. Just, he was, um, well, too late. It's already in the party inventory. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to punch it. <clears throat> so who wants to carry it? I'll carry it's it. It's not a plastic doll. It's not that kind of creepy doll. It's like cloth doll. It's kind of Those can still be creepy. Um, yeah, let's yeah, see what it says. I'll carry oh, it. it has the initials VV stitched in the back. VV. Uh, VV. Uh, five, 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 fifty five. Oh, yeah. Fifty five. So, do you know how to open the party sheet, Grace? Uh, yeah. It is the very top right button, and then if you go mm -hmm. to the inventory tab, Mm -hmm. You see the creepy doll, and you can click on the shield and drag her into your inventory. Are you taking the creepy doll? Yeah, I'll take the creepy doll. So, you, yeah, yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah. Eason notices, and she's just like, hmm. Does that need okay. to be identified? It's just, the, it's just the doll. You find a creepy doll, it's not magic, yeah. Right, you weren't with us when we went through the illusion house where shit got weird. Yeah, everybody's on edge. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> you, you think it's just a normal house and everyone's just, like, very skittish and just, like, keeping an eye on everything. Yeah, but you're looking for the wrong things. You're expecting there to be, like, illusions and shit, and so you're not looking out for traps. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, like, traps everywhere. Oh! We're looking for ordinary things that could hurt us, but not traps that are actually going to hurt us. 
Well, there's no more doors in this room, so you gotta go back into the first room. Uh, let's check the broom closet under the I'm stairs. Make my way down the hall. <laughs> uh, is there any brooms? It res It's the coat. This is the coat room. Oh, it's so the coat room. Oh, any coats room to loot room. their wallets? There, there is <laughs> one <laughs> old rotten woolen coat. Is there anything no. in the pockets? In the pockets, no. Is there anything in the secret pockets that you uh, didn't let me check? No. Okay. <laughs> Those are empty too. And is it actually an old coat, or is it an illusion of an old coat? <laughs> it, depends. it depends on your definition of is. Uh, okay. <laughs> Dang, existential right. up in so, here. Stairs or hallway? <laughs> hallway. Hooray. Hallway. We go floor Many by floor doors. in this room, in this part here. We gotta identify each of these rooms before we fall into them through the floorboards above. Oh, that's right. Do you want to see if there's a hole into the underspace in the yeah. cold closet again? Yeah. All right, yes. you go, and there isn't. No, no little like door to get into the crawl space underneath or anything. Can um, I make one? Well, you could always bust to the floor and see what's underneath it, but it actually it's strange. Um, well, make make some kind of. Been any intelligence check? He's... Oh no! Did anybody else who's <laughs> looking at it with her? You to just push it. Intelligence check. Uh, 15, that's good enough. It looks like it's oh. actually like the <laughs> good contribution. Yeah, Dabar doesn't notice anything. He's like, "Oh, the hole's not there. That's too bad." <laughs> Eason, you're like, it looks like the hole was there and it's been repaired. Hmm. Okay, that's so curious. Yeah, it's weird. We're gonna smash it. I want okay, to you try to bust your way back through. Make some, um... Well, a grapple check. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta Just grapple those drink, boards. Strength saving throw, maybe. Oh, uh, I know what happened. Oh, so bad. <laughs> the damage okay. on the other house is reflective of the damage oh. on this house, All but right. this house was repaired. No, the illusionist got a divorce, but instead of just <laughs> separating their possessions, he just copied the house. <laughs> <laughs> and then just took worse care of it. Yeah. Yeah. You'd have to be a transmuter if you wanted to make a copy of something. The illusionist could just make it look like it was a copy. Oh, unless he used the Tetris. Or, oh. see, but then it would have gone away if he was dead, which means he must still be alive. There you oh. go. There's your Sherlock Holmes. Oh uh, shit! Does that mean we're gonna get like find him on the top floor and kill him, and then his enchantment <laughs> runs out and we all fall into the ground? It might just teleport you back to the original house. In the air above uh, the original house, uh, in which we fall to our death. <laughs> anyway, Ethan, you think you can tear through those floorboards? But it would take you about twenty minutes. Hey guys, we got twenty minutes. Uh, well, no, Ethan. Okay. Think. You can start working on it while we could. Fan out to try to figure or you are attacked the rest of the by house. patrolling skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, if you want to go tear up those floorboards while the rest of y'all explore the house, that's totally fine. You have the telepathy after all, so you can signal her if you needed her. Does the telepathy Oops. extend to our new party member? No, <laughs> no. Oh yeah, right. we can also do that. Yeah. Thing to... <laughs> you notice, like, we don't normally talk to each other. We just know what yeah. each other's thinking for some weird reason. <laughs> right. Oh, and here's the best part: is she actually speaks like a kind of different English than y'all do. So she also doesn't really understand half the words you say. <laughs> <laughs> Turn the back. Yeah. I'm, I'm, but it's, I'm... it's usually clear enough what these. Actually, it yeah. would probably be more confusing if you knew every word they were saying. Because these three people are out of their minds. <laughs> I imagine I sometimes... their, their intentions are often usually very clear. I sometimes think think words to her, and then she doesn't reply. And I'm just like, I don't understand. Oh. It's because I didn't say yeah. them out loud. She's ignoring me. <laughs> <laughs> just looking around, clueless. Uh, I'm just going to tear up some floorboards. Okay, no I'm fine over there. Let's go to okay. another door. Who wants to open this? I don't Dibs. think I should open them. Dibs. Which one? The one on the oh, left. The one on the left. Okay. Go for it. In oh, let me... Hold on. Be right back. No, I'm just kidding. Entering <laughs> into this room, you instantly feel colder. 
Uh -oh. It appears to be the Von Glausen's dining hall, and at every seat around the eight-person table sits a ghostly apparition. They're all talking and complaining to each other about how long they've been waiting for the food. They all appear to be in horrible spirits, and two of them are even trying to fight, but they can't because they're ghosts. <laughs> and... <laughs> In in the northwest corner of the room is a banquet table that's filled with plates and cups and cutlery and stuff, but there's no food. And these ghosts are just, you know, they don't they don't notice you. They can't see y'all. They're just there at the table. There's eight eight ghosts. Oh, what if I put an uh, apple on the table? Do they notice the apple? Do you have an apple? <laughs> no. I have a ration. It might have an apple in it. It doesn't. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> And the kitchen was the door at the very end of the hall, correct? Yeah, number seven. Okay. Maybe there's ghost food we can feed these ghost people to fill their ghost the, appetite. The room in between is like the serving room, right? So yeah, that's that's a thought. I'm gonna go into the next room and see. Yeah. yeah. Not disturb their Wait, squabble. we have a cleric with us. The cleric has can talk to ghosts. I've heard this in like stories and not previous games. So <laughs> if you could try and destroy them. Are you able to do turn undead? Put them to rest. <laughs> you can't communicate with them terror. though. Unless you're like an evil cleric. Oh. Then Why you is can that an evil them. cleric thing? You're like, you're bad undead. Bad. Go away. <laughs> That's what evil clerics do instead. Sounds evil. Okay, well. But you're not evil. You're neutral, which means you just, like, destroy them. <laughs> Purge with holy fire. Ghosts are, ghosts are pretty high up the line of undead types, so they're pretty hard to destroy. But they also usually can't affect the world around them anyway, so you just, they're making noise. Uh, uh, Did uh, they notice us when we in? The ghosts? Or no? No, they, they don't appear to be able to see you at all. Did you walk okay. into the room and, like, Try and get their attention, or were you trying to be still? No, I was just following them. What about Devar? Did you walk into the room? I didn't walk into the room. I just opened the door. Do you want to walk into the room, see if you can get their attention? Uh, not really. <laughs> what about you, Adrian? You <laughs> yes. Okay. You walk into the room, you try to get their attention, and you can't. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> but what if I use... Uh... Fireball! Uh... <laughs> You just yeah. don't stand in the room yourself. <laughs> oh my god, I have so many spells now. Great. But I don't have anything for dead people. I can raise dead, but that doesn't work without a body. Oh well. Kill uh, a body, raise the dead into the dead body. <laughs> Devon, could I please suggest you not leave this door of potential flanking enemies on the other side of the hallway right here that you passed? Come I was please. seeing if I could get them ghost food. Fine. Eligifu, <laughs> would you please check this door here so we don't get surprised? Sure. There we go. Let's eat food. Teamwork. Oh. You're going to sit down and eat your own rations in front of these ghosts. Is that what you're doing? Wait, no, no, no. The one Sorry. on this side. Look at their attention. Raz, check it. Is Davar going to open the door? I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. I was typing. I'm a bad team. <laughs> It's fine. I want Ilgifu to open this door. It probably... You want me to open the door to the right? Yes. Okay, let's open that door. Okay, I'm going to go open the door. Oh, bam. Oh, that was efficient. <laughs> okay. When you open the door to this room, you see a sitting parlor. There are two large brown leather armchairs, a brown leather couch, and an impressive-looking harpsichord in the southwestern corner. This is where Ooh. the clavichord was in the other house. Oh. Maybe you can yeah. get the spare parts to fix yours. Oh, maybe, yeah. Uh, too bad I'm in the other room. Yeah, do y'all tell her that you see Harp's court, or are y'all you like... Well, Adrian's gotta oh, be the one there. I'm Devar kinda... should use his telepath telepathy to tell, tell Adrian, like, oh, we better not let Eason find out <laughs> about this Harp's <laughs> court. And she'll hear it, too. It'd well, I was walking... I was making my way towards <laughs> the kitchen, so I don't see that room quite yet. I know, I'm just kidding. That's yeah, no, I don't know. I'd, I'd tell you. I'd be like, there's another one of those music things in here. Or maybe what? it's a fully functioning one, and you don't even need the broken one anymore. <laughs> um, Where? You're pretty sure, Eason, by the way, 
you gotten one of the floorboards almost up, and you're pretty sure they filled the earth in underneath too. So <laughs> you don't think you'll be able to get through the floor this time. Just in time to give up this task to look for the harpsichord. Yeah. Perfect timing. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to come check out this harpsichord? Let's see. Oh uh... yeah, I'm right here. I'm looking around. I want to start right. playing. Play my little. I mean, right. unless yeah, I'll get food. I'm sorry. Play. Everybody, roll initiative, and nobody move your tokens. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, Someone yeah. just moved me into I the room. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Because you two are in this room, you're next to these couches, and you're like, these are comfortable couches. But then he's oh. over here and tries to play the mimic like a harpsichord. Just like, what? No, oh, I'm a mimic. I got gonna... it. <laughs> pick stuff around. But don't worry. It's going to use its surprise attack on Eason, so you two are safe, even though you're in this room. <laughs> That's good. Hey, what's yeah. attacking us? Oh, it's a mimic. Yeah. A harpsichord was a mimic? Uh, yeah, I didn't know if that was just you slurred up, because you said. Play the mimic like a harpsichord, and nobody oh, no. said anything. No, that was that was the reveal. Because <laughs> after I had you roll your initiative, yeah, um, I was actually gonna go try and play it. But That's what it makes them like. They catch you off guard. All right. So what I'm does just, he do? Let's see. He's I'm just really team. sad. Like I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe you can evil. gut the mimic for bait. parts. Oh. Oh, I have to actually put a stupid map. Sorry. I mean. It might I'm just... be a mimic, but you might also still be able to play it. Yeah, I'm just going to play the magic clavichord on my turn and see if that works. <laughs> Soothe the savage <laughs> beast. Names? Just like... it. Uh... Had to look up what a harpsichord was. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just assuming it's a harp with chords on it. Piano. Yeah. No, um, a piano... It plays music by striking it with a hammer. A harpsichord plays music by plucking it like a Oh, okay. Yeah, now I see. Sorry that I knew that. I... <laughs> oh, that's oh, that's some fun facts. Yeah. That's because Sabito's name's Sabito, and that's a All music right. term. It's a mimic. Oh, and he had to re-roll his initiative. Bastard. It's okay. He's so cute. He, wait, he had a two and he re-rolled a four? That's hilarious. <laughs> Pseudopod. Do that real fast so I can. Oh, oh sure, my harpsichord on the stream. Wait, I want to go All look right. at your Andy's stream. Take a so, harpsichord. You don't take any damage, but you are adhered to it. You uh, to it. Yeah. Does it that mean to... I get to keep it? No, it just means your hand's stuck to it. It's sticky. No, it's Davar's turn. Oh, so I can just keep it. You can only attack with your offhand weapon. Okay. Unless fine. you succeed a grapple check to pry your hand off. <laughs> your hand's stuck and you're like, that's a good thing. Yes. I only can get yeah. up to there. Hey, now. Okay. Is that a double move? Uh, That is a single move because I want to try to chuck an Eldritch Blast at it because that's the only oh, thing I can good. do right now. Lauren, wait, <laughs> Andy, go touch it. Wait, it's on my hand. <laughs> it's on my hand. <laughs> 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 it's an Eldritch Blast. It's not even going to hit. She's small enough oh, that you can, you can Why did it? <laughs> Does the crit what? still count and the advantage? It shouldn't. It's under your weapons that your crit is set to 18 to 20. That yeah. was a 20, though, so that's why it critted. But it gave me two rolls for advantage. It should only... Maybe that's why one had advantage melee and this one says Do advantage you attack. get advantage? I think I need to... It only is for my melee attack that I get advantage. Andy's Are you cheating. sure you don't get Eldritch Blast advantage from something else? Is what I'm asking. No, I don't, because I haven't taken I haven't taken anything that would give that anything. Of Penalize that him. Skip his turn. He's cheating. No. Okay, here's what it is. We updated it in your character sheet, but you didn't update your tooltip. Just like that other thing that wasn't working, right? Because here I see the effect. We fixed it so that it's only melee. Okay. So now change change your tooltip. Move this. Hexblade Mastery back over there. Reset the tooltip. Yeah, I'm work. doing that now. All right. Um, well, yeah, whatever. You can just keep the crit. <laughs> and what? I... No, cheater. You would have you would have hit both ways. Um, yeah. Why don't you just roll roll damage twice, and we'll keep the second one. Roll damage twice. Yeah. Okay, or should I just you... roll the one and then you could just take away the? No, I'm bonus. just saying get the crit out of the system. Now the crit's oh, out. Oh, so now the crit's out. 
No, this will be what counts. Okay. Yeah. Because your other roll was a 17. You would have hit it's either It's still way. saying it's crit, though. Roll an attack again, Andy. Oh, is it because I have multiple Eldritch Smite be or Eldritch Blast beams because of my current <laughs> level? Is it? Maybe. I don't know. Roll damage one more time, and then we will know for sure. I get two beams at fifth level. So, All right, yeah. so if that's what it is, then the next one will be a crit. Otherwise, you'll have to roll an attack again. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay, roll another attack. And if you miss, one more. <laughs> it's always crit. <laughs> it won't stop. You gotta roll, roll damage, attack. Andy. Roll it's an attack. Just... Re roll the attack. It's completely screwed up. You have to just do it again. <laughs> okay, you hit. Now do damage. <laughs> Here, it's a D10 plus 3, so I'm just going to roll a D10. Yeah. You just take the modifier off manually. Who cares? <laughs> so you got a 12 <laughs> it's like the third highest roll of all those rolls okay. here's what we'll do no 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 um boom okay the favorite's gonna wait elf get fused turn what do you want to do uh, okay um and Eason's grappled by it? Her hand like her is hand stuck is to the harpsichord, and everybody else is freaking out, and Davor just <laughs> burst into the doorway and burst it with some magical energy. <laughs> um, some black frost. And Eason's like, no, no, don't hurt it! Um, so yeah, you <laughs> don't, don't know what's it. going on, but it, it's probably an enemy. You okay. can cast Bless on everybody, that might not be a bad idea. I do earlier, thank Yeah, I'm gonna cast Bless on everybody be cool. So, so use control and you can target everybody in the party. Just click on them. Yeah. It'll draw arrows. There you go. What's Bless do? And then uh, click on the effect. Including yourself. To... Oh. Yeah, yourself as well. Oh, no, not yourself. Well, no, it's, up it's, to three people. it's up to three people. So okay. you, can, you can be one of the three people if you want. Mm, you want to yeah, I'm just going to bless everybody. Okay, that's fine. Around me right now. Cool. So if you okay. open it up, then just click the button next to effect and then give it to him. Okay. Does it feel good? What does it do? <laughs> it feels okay. <laughs> Freaking take out a flask of uh, holy water and just dump it on everybody. <laughs> oh. Like, ah, I'm wet. And there's something stuck uh, in my It head. burns it's me happening. for some reason. Freaking I don't know why it's face. burning. <laughs> Uh, we're not happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it gives you like, plus D four to all your stuff, your attack yeah. and your save rolls. It's good. Now you can use your bonus action still and cast Shield of Faith on okay. yourself. Actually, yeah. <sighs> so then you would have to deselect everybody, but your and then select yourself and do that if you wanted to. Is it only on one person, right? Yeah, Shield yeah. of Faith. Um, I think you can cast it on other people. Um, yeah, it, it can be you or anybody else. Burning field appears and surrounds the creature oh, of your choice. Oh, except for, range. no. It's another concentration spell. You can only have one concentration spell at a time. Sorry. Oh, yeah, that's right. Less Actually, of concentration. I think you can only cast one spell per turn also. Well, unless there's something weird about bonus action spells. Oh, yeah. um, I don't remember. I know we've homebrewed, homebrewed it both ways, basically. That's true. So, yeah. But, yeah, I guess you can't do that regardless. Um, Let's see. You can still move. Do you want to move? Yeah, I want to move closer to it. Okay. Drink a potion. You can drink a potion. Yeah. I... I don't think... Thank you. Ah! What? <laughs> That's what that lever does. Oh, oh I got no. a new chair and I pulled one of my levers and it. When I go close to her, it rotates her body. <laughs> oh, is that what? Yeah, if you use the roller ball, <laughs> it rotates. 
Wait, wait, where did wait, you want to move to? Muted. I was from. No, I was right here. You, and then... Right here. There we so. go. You don't want to move all the way up. Uh, yeah, that's good. Good. If I can. Keep your shield between it and you. But... Yep. Shield out. Why the chat reset? Did the chat reset for everyone else? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah I did that. You reset it. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Now it's Easton's turn. Oh good. Are you coming to help me save this mimic? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, oh. I, I I should hit it, shouldn't I? Well you yeah, can you do whatever you it. want. You're grappled right now. You want to do offhand can attacks? I, can I play a, a clavichord with one hand? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna whack at it with my offhand, so I get right. to attack. Band with the mimic. There's your bless. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank bless. Yeah. Cool. Bam. Wacky wacky. Ooh, twenty eight. It'd be funny if the owner came in and he's like, what are you doing to my harpsichord? <laughs> <laughs> no, I will not help you complete your quest. My pet harpsichord? It's like you turn the harpsichord into a mimic so it can be like a dog, but also a piano at the same time. <laughs> That's genius. Oh. Now I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> what about Adrian? Does he feel bad? Uh, Adrian's kind of just like... You found a lever That's or something. unfortunate. Right? I found a lever. Yeah, apparently I found one I didn't even know was there. <laughs> oh, pretty good. Oh, the lever! That was yeah. on my chair. Yeah, uh -oh. and then I pressed it and I sank, and then it also unplugged my headphones. Uh-oh. Only the headphone port, not the microphone port. So you probably heard me screaming. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. That's, that's about what happened. Uh, anyway. <laughs> it's, not... it's your turn. <laughs> Easton's over there. She's pretty excited. Yeah, she's stuck, stuck to the mimic. But the clerics with her. They look uh, like they're chatting. Did they make... Whoa, someone disconnected. Well... Uh, do mimics make uh -oh. that... What was it called? Do you remember that glue that only some other type of thing could take it back off? Remember that? Remember oh, it the, the universal solvent and the yeah. sovereign glue. Yeah. Is that... No, they're, um, it would have to be a very powerful mimic. Actually, I don't know. That's Interesting question. That'd be cool if that's like where do you farm it? It's from mimics. Wait, <laughs> what did I miss? We're talking about hey, blue. <laughs> yeah, like I could hear you, but I, I couldn't hear anybody else. Oh, that's weird. I don't know what. Yeah, I was talking about the mimics making that sovereign glue, which is the thing <laughs> yet. Yeah. Anyway, you get over it's not important. That would um, be one of those things yeah. where, like, if you wanted to create the Sovereign Glue, you'd have to go on a quest to defeat, like, a legendary mimic or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or something else that's sticky. Capture it in a cage and just milk it. <laughs> 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 Is that what you want to do on your turn? <laughs> no. The poison spray. Oh, nice. Milk Good work. It. Melt! Oh my god, that was only three damage. Are you you kidding? did full damage. Good work. I hit it though. That's good. Yeah, it failed at saving throw, and then if only you'd rolled something other than a two and a one. Yeah, you could have done twenty-four damage. I could have. It would have killed it if you'd done twenty-four damage. I could have killed it with a cantrip that I've, I don't think I've ever hit with poison spray yet. Uh, does everyone still have Bless, or when I disconnected, did it, like, take it off? Let's see. No. You're good. Everybody I don't really roll it. attack throws, so... Well, you I could make saving have... throws. It would help with that, too. That's true, but... All right. Well, it might serve you better. Yeah, it looks like it didn't clear the... It didn't clear yeah. anything, because your character didn't go away. You just uh -huh. reconnected. Okey-dokey. Anyway, it's the mimic's turn. Oh, Maybe it's gonna, will... it bites Eason. No, no, it doesn't. I thought it it's already bit it. Eason. <laughs> it tries to bite her. It likes me too. It much. tried to poison her last time. Oh, really? Does it have that big purple poison. tongue? Yeah, she didn't even notice. It does have a big purple tongue. That's hilarious. I definitely but, want to keep yeah, it now. <laughs> it tries to bite her and it, it doesn't fail. That's just like a you know a mean little puppy. Yeah. Kill some of the, the Yeah. Now we're just gonna. <laughs> 
We're gonna smack at something fierce now. Alright, do our your turn. I like how we're all just like gathering in this corner. He's <laughs> <laughs> gonna beat the <laughs> shit out of this shitty piano. <laughs> Fuck this thing. <laughs> I don't want to light it on fire, so... <laughs> Alright, Davar shows up and he smashes it to pieces. <laughs> oh. Nice. Get it off, get it off, get it off, get oh. it off! He smashes it to pieces and it makes the sound of, like, a wheezing bagpipe as it dies. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be, like, a broken <laughs> G-Tune guitar where it's like, bling! <laughs> <laughs> like an accordion or something. <laughs> um, it's no longer sticky, either, so you can't harvest it, either. Dev oh. armor. Everybody's fun. I helped. Oh, but there is <laughs> some treasure in this room. Special quest treasure. Uh oh. All right. Ooh. Um. Let's I'm see. Where is it? It's um. It. Oh, when you kill the mimic, it cuffs this up. It's a tiny metal letter. Ooh. Metal. What is it? Letter. Yeah. What letter? Is it an R? Letter. It's an I o. hope it's a Q. Oh. Oh. It's in the party sheet. Who wants it? I Wait, is it an O or is it just a ring? No. Oh, well, actually, it's hard to tell. Yeah. It does look like an O. O-shaped piece a of metal. A little trinket from your friend. <laughs> it's really funny that that's the first. <laughs> yeah, it does just kind of look like a ring. I, I try to put it on my finger. O-shaped piece of metal. It's, I'm it's actually big. Throating... It's like two inches. It's like two inches, so it's much too big to be a ring. Okay. Unless yeah. it's for my toes, because my toes are too right. big. Well, you know, you, you can almost wear it like a bracelet, actually. Yeah. If you weren't wearing your gauntlets. Your gauntlets are too big. Oh, yeah, okay. There we go. That's an easy thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah, um, so it'll fit yeah. over my gauntlet. You're right. right. You are. <laughs> are you going to check if it's inches? like magical, or are you just going to like wear it as jewelry? Uh, uh, do 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 you want to check it out, Adrian? I don't care. It's there an you o. go. Check it out. It's circular. <laughs> it's literally Does it have yeah. magic oh. on it. No, I don't know. Magic. I'm not magic. It do you take ten magic. minutes to actually detect magics? Sure, why not? Okay, you wait in this room for ten minutes. Yeah, it because I magic. make my way to the kitchen in this ten but minutes. Actually, <laughs> can no, I magic. investigate the room? Yeah, y'all can go on and investigate, but Adrian won't be able to help in a fight. Nope. I was just going to uh, peek into rooms. I wasn't going to go into them. No, oh, I mean this room that we're in. Oh, the room you're in. Yeah, you can spend ten minutes searching the room, see if you find anything. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. Um, there's no more creepy dolls, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, but the couch and the chairs are very comfortable. Sorry, there's nothing else of value in this room. Okay. Okay. And Deborah, you, you want to peek into these doors? Peek into the room on the left. Okay. On the left. This room contains two very long serving tables filled with mountains of food. Um, however, all does not seem right as the food does not give off any smell or steam. I have a feeling that might be the food for the ghost guests. <laughs> the very first the very first line it says under the description is it should not take the players long to figure out that this food is meant for the hungry ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> now I feel smart. Yes. Uh I'll, I'm going to do a quick quick peek in the kitchen. I think is the one in the far end. That door is locked. Okay. So, give these guys a quick little, hey, I found the food for the guests if you want to see what happens if we give it to them. Yeah, maybe that's what y'all can do while Adrian's casting his spell. Yeah, let's... I still uh, looking around the room while he's while they're doing this, or no? Well, you've been, you know, poking around the couch. You don't think you're going to find anything, so they could probably yeah. come get your attention and get you to help with whatever they're doing. Yeah. Help! The ring's cursed. I'm paralyzed. <laughs> Everybody, roll insight. Adrian rolled deception. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out Rad was just too dumb, and he actually thought it paralyzed him, but he apparently <laughs> just stopped moving roll, when he put roll it on. Persuasion. 
<laughs> I keep getting these pages turned around. All right. Wait, do you have a real book? No, I printed them out. <laughs> oh. It's like nine pages, not very long. Um, I like to draw on it with pencils. Nice. I feel like more fun for me. Give it um, more pencil and paper feel. So, yeah, you can take this food, give it to the ghosts. Um, they still don't see you, but if you serve it to them on the, the table, they start going like, Oh, hooray! hooray it's finally here! Hooray! Hooray! Um... And then they're like, is, it's cold. Is the is the plot twist that we are the actual ghosts and they're the real people, and the reason oh. they don't see us is because we're dead? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Would you like to know? <laughs> um. um, are there any ghost children at, at the table? Um, no, no children at the table. Okay. Um. But you can, can we give them messages written out in food on plates? Oh, well, just to help you with that, it's a, a new thing that has appeared. They still can't see you, but um, a tiny metal letter has appeared floating above the table. This time it's the letter V. Hey, go oh. for it. Oh, I bet indeed. it spells Victoria. I bet it spells ovulating. Oh. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to take the V? Yeah. Okay, who wants it? Uh, Eason's got the O. Or no, I guess Raz got the O. Yeah. Okay. So Eason can take the O because she took the V. Or took... Nah. She can take the yep, V because she took the O earlier. Cool. So, back to Radley. Um, you just finished casting Detect Magic on this O-shaped piece of metal, and you have determined that it is not magical. And right after you do that, <laughs> they walk into the room, they're like, We found another one! <laughs> You want to detect magic on this one too? Oh yeah, let me give that one a go. Yeah. <laughs> and for the record, we cast detect magic on an area. So if you had like two of these next to each other, you could cast it at the same time. <laughs> oh. Yeah, cast it now. We'll go find another okay. one, and we'll get them back to you when you're done with this one. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm guessing let's. Yeah, these probably. Let's go. We're done here. <laughs> okay. okay. Um and. By the way, uh, we have about 15 minutes left on our scheduled time, but are you all okay playing about 15 minutes late, or does somebody have to leave right at the end? I'm good. I think no, good. I'm good. All right, because Abby suggested she offered to stay a little bit later since she was late. Well, I'm interested in spelling okay out the me. word ovulation. Excellent. Right. So which room next, then? Uh, the I tell the others the kitchen's locked, so try this one on the right first, and then we'll worry about okay. the locker room later. Okay. All right, watch out for chandeliers. I'm opening right. the door. <laughs> Let's go. Chandelier comes out of nowhere. And... <laughs> Peering into this room, you discover another parlor. There's a long table covered in a white tablecloth along the same wall as the door, and has a book on it, right in the center. There's what also a on? yeah Oops, a book on the tablecloth. And there's also a wingback chair, another leather couch, a day bed, and a round wooden table in the northeast corner. Sitting on top of the round table is a glass bottle which appears to be empty. The book on top of the table is... You don't even recognize the letters. It's written in some stupid language. No idea. I'm good at reading books. Oh, you oh, yeah, can you can problem. cast comprehend languages. It just takes ten minutes. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was about to say, Raz's like, oh, I'm good at reading books. Opens it up. Where are the pictures? <laughs> oh my gosh. So, what do y'all want to do? Chat, Andy. <laughs> uh, check underneath the tablecloth first because okay. it's suspicious. Roll an investigation check. Okay. I just kind of uh, want to browse the. No, just that are just Adrian. Like... All right, there is a giant scything blade underneath the table that looks like it is set to come out and cut anybody. Um, if you trigger it. Wow! All right, well, I and take the book. No, no, because you you rolled so well, you can tell that what would trigger it it appears to be some kind of pressure plate directly underneath the book. So if you pick up the book. Uh... It'll release the blade. 
Great. So I say, everyone stand back. I'm going to sit on the table and lift my legs up. You jump up on the table. <laughs> and then take the book so it doesn't hit anything. Okay. So everybody steps back from the table. And Adrian jumps on the table and he picks up this book and this giant blade comes out. And it's like, <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Nice. It just stays out. So the track has been triggered. Good. You have a book. Can you try book. to read the book? Well, I don't know. I'll probably like get possessed and then turn on everybody. It's up to you. But <laughs> I will take it and identify it later. Oh. You don't want to even open it? Uh... A scythe oh, comes out from the book it. inside and stabs <laughs> right in the face. <laughs> what about the empty bottle? Do you want to investigate the empty bottle? Yeah, I was over there. I wanted to put some. I wanted to pour some gin into it. Okay. You, you uh, pick up the bottle. Okay. Um, and the scythe comes out. <laughs> no, it, it sets up. A, it opens up a trap door. Okay. Um, so. Oh. Ava and Easton both fall in the trap door. Well, no, you you both get to roll dexterity saving throws, DC twenty. You finally Wait, found the I way to go. Fail? Yeah, yeah. Can I just fail automatically? I just fail oh, if, it. You like. if you like, All right. um, okay. it also it has there's a tiny, <laughs> tiny little metal letter at the bottom of the bottle. Okay. <laughs> and yes, you both fall in the hole, and take. <laughs> oh. It's a, there's some spikes at the bottom. Oh no. Um, oh my god. It, it's a 15 foot deep pit with two foot spikes at the bottom. And so you both oh. topple into the hole. Ow. And it's like, here, this Sorry. hole, there's the pit. Um, you break the bottle when you fall. Oh. And you both take 11 damage. Yeah, by the way, That's stay not... on guard because there's traps in this room. <laughs> 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 I guess I'll look at this book because there might be a letter in it. Okay, you want some you want some healing potions? I have I, I have some potions. Oh, did some of the potions get impaled by the spike? That'd be hilarious. You heal the spike yeah. for two d four plus four. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there are. Oh my um, gosh! In the when the trap gets triggered, Adrian, you accidentally drop the book and it opens up. And you realize that it was just a fake book that's hollowed out, and it has this oh, exquisite-looking wow. dagger in it. Oh, oh that's, that's particular. Cool. Yeah, do you want an exquisite dagger? Uh, yes. All right. And who wants the broken bottle? Me. Uh. <laughs> you can sell it for two We're gold. We're at the bottom of the pit, impaled by a broken bottle. Yeah, but that's valuable glass. Adventures waste nothing. Yeah, I swear. Oh nope. That's it. Yep. I'll okay. find some use for so it. So you got the A now, Eason? All right. So yeah, we're going to go to a bar fight. You already have a broken glass bottle. It does look shed. like it's going to spill over <laughs> It's not. Yeah. It's not. That's just random. <laughs> we, we don't know that. <laughs> the letters are out of order, which is why it's spelling something else, apparently. <laughs> yeah, it could still be all emulation. It's been an anagram. Oh Find a God. U next. Quite a few um, rooms left. Let's so who wants, this, this who wants this dagger? Yeah, let's get out of the pit. But who wants the dagger? I'll, ho I'll help the people out of the pit. Okay. Wait, is the dagger different than the sharp piece of metal? Yeah, it's a dagger. Oh. There's a broken bottle, and a dagger, and an A-shaped piece of metal. Ooh. Oh, it's an well... A-shaped, not a shaped piece of metal. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that yeah. was just the description of the dagger. And I was a like, sharp. Seeing how there's an O-shaped piece sharp. of metal and a V-shaped piece of metal, I assumed yeah. the A-shaped piece of metal is an <laughs> A-letter-shaped piece of metal. Andy, I've got... Like eighteen intelligence, so you can just go away. <laughs> you can leave this. You can leave this until you identify it if you want. Do you want to do that? Sure. Okay, yeah. we'll just leave it in there for now. All right. So it doesn't look like there's any more room in this room for any more traps. <laughs> so once Navar helps you both out of the pit, um, you're all good to go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how much damage did we take again? Uh, you took 11. I took care of it for you already. Okay. Um, wait, before we leave, I'll check what? the room for traps. <laughs> oh, okay. 
You actually called it on that scythe blade. That was what you did, Mr. Wizard Thief. Yeah, I used my my wizard gaming sense. There's your trap experience. No more. Excuse me. No, no more traps. Okay. Did I give you experience for the yet? I don't think so. No, nope, give us more. <laughs> Keep giving us until you hear a ding sound. Yeah. More. <laughs> Alright, so that means there is... There's just the doors to the kitchen now. Unless you yeah. want to go up the stairs. Well, Let's do the kitchen first. Seeing how that door's locked, I want to try the door in this room. Are you, you sure it was locked? The... Yeah, I tried it. Okay. Did you try your key? I did not try the key, but I want to try this door first. Which door? The one in the left. Oh, this door? Yeah. It's in the serving room. Um, you know, it's really stupid that it's not also locked, but technically it doesn't say that it is. So, sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's unlocked. Sweet. And also, the locked door opens with the key that you have. <laughs> yeah, so well. Nice. Hooray. I guess the guy was just paying attention to traps and stuff when he made this. Sure. Oh. Anyway. A quick glance at this room reveals it as the kitchen. There are two doors on the south wall, one on the north, one on the east, and also a set of stairs leading up to the second floor. Additionally, there is a cutting table, an iron wash stand, and a brick oven. Cool. Now we can make a pizza. Pizza! Oh, God, pizza sounds good. I know, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Brad, yeah. even though it snowed, you should order me a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's nice. I call upon the pizza. I mean, you can go walk and get one. Actually, I could. There's not a. There's a pretty decent pizza place not that far. Well then, there you go. <laughs> well, we don't have any time during this session right. to take the break. Andy. What's in this room? <laughs> um, the pantry. Is there any pizza supplies? No, but Eason is searching. That happens to be where you're standing. Is where the chimney is, and since y'all didn't. Search the room. You still find it. There's a tiny little metal letter G stuck into the chimney. G? Oh, yeah. obviation. Yeah. Do you, I, do you want to take glad it? I found see. it. Yeah. Because uh, glad <laughs> starts <laughs> with a G. Great. Okay. Well, oh, I no, sorry. <laughs> that was a good one. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's, it's actually an S. Oh. oh. It can still work, Rad. <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, so shit. sappy. Yeah, right. Okay, and when you take it out of the chimney, it spawns three imps. Uh-oh. <laughs> what? Imps? Guys, I'm finding all the traps. Aren't you proud of me? <laughs> At least we're finding them that way and not so, other ways. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's always okay to stumble into traps until they're high-level traps. Oh yep. It just shows that we're being thorough, that we're finding all these traps. Do you remember how to roll initiative? Nope. Yeah, you're good. Wow, yeah. yeah. Or is embarrassing. I don't know why, but Fantasy Grounds is running at like two frames per second, and the dice just like slideshow. <sighs> it does that for me sometimes too, but it's not doing it right now. It's weird. It's weird. Are yeah. you loading the manuals, Radley? No. <laughs> Although I do have RimWorld running because it takes like 20 <laughs> minutes to start up. So I just leave it on all the time. Well, there shouldn't be anything going on right now. I've got the combat set up. So it's just uh, Eason's turn. Go ahead. Huh. Am I allowed to keep one of these guys? If you can trick him into being your friend. Okay. You do have an enchanter in the party. Holy shit. You're old 27. Yeah. Oh, right. They have resistance against almost everything except regular magic weapons. <laughs> wow. Which is what and that's I have. What Eason has two of those. <laughs> <laughs> it's really like they're immune to fire and poison and poisoning, and they have resistance against silver and piercing and bludging and sludge and slashing damage, all this damage. Get them. Get them. Not regular weapons, though. So. Wreck their shit. Oh, that's a one. Oh, oh well. Is that four attacks? 
Yep, that was four. four. (laughs) Now it's Devar's turn. Wait, (laughs) I need to check one thing real fast. Uh No, I weakened him. Uh... I weakened him. Captured it. (laughs) Throw a Pokeball. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my gosh, uh, if I could invent a device in this game that's like a Pokeball, I would just <laughs> capture everything. Oh, uh, they don't count as humanoid, don't they? Let's see. They're probably like demons. They are devils. Fiend. <sighs> well, I wanted to, but I couldn't, so we're just no. going to hit it. Andy, you're a warlock. You can't, like, charm a devil. No, but oh, I could no, do a cursed thing. specter. And turn it into a specter for me to have for until our long rest. That's cool. This but is what has, you're saying. It has as to be humanoid. Kill it. Yes. <laughs> Good work. I could have done this, but instead it's dead. <laughs> I mean, I would so, have had to kill it either way, but I would have to kill it if I wanted to get the accursed specter. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you did, though. Yeah. But, but it's, not, it's not humanoid. So as soon as you opened that other door, by the way, um, you were immediately hit by the yeah, horrible stench coming from that room. It's the pantry. It's filled with rotting meat, pickles, and mold, and stuff like that. Um, this, you also hear the sound of a woman crying from somewhere deeper into the room. There are two rows of dual-sided shelves that go from floor to the ceiling, as well as some barrels and boxes to cross. You'd have to go into the room to see if find out who's crying. Is it Andy? Yeah, Adrian, you can totally check it's out crying the too. crying person because you're closer to the door now, aren't you? All right, Devar yeah. runs away. <laughs> is that the one thing that scares the shit out of big, big brave Devar? So... Crying ghosts? <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just weird. feeling Don't like if we can't see it and it's luring us into it, it might not <laughs> right. be a best idea. Yeah, so I'll just go straight for it because I like things, and if it kills me, well, well wait. How... <laughs> wait, if it kills Ethan. you, it just shows you that they love you too much. Take exactly. the lantern. You the died lantern. from overdosing on love. Oh. Adrian, take the lantern. Take the lantern. It doesn't reveal I... any invisible people, so you're safe. There is, however, a ghost of oh. a young woman dressed in a maid's uniform. She's sitting on a three-legged stool at the end of the passage between the two shelves. And she's the one that's crying. Are you crying because it's gross in here? And you have to clean it up? <laughs> <laughs> wow. And she's unable to clean it because she's a ghost, so it's just like hell yeah. for her to be stuck in this room of just disgusting. Um, I'm like... Well, I'm supposed to make you roll a diplomacy check, but y'all fucking called it again. Like... <laughs> So yeah, she's like, yes! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Could I use prestidigitation oh. to clean it? <laughs> no. She, well, yeah, actually, you probably could. Uh, but she she says that she's crying because of the horrible mess in the room and how she'll never get it all cleaned up before the master oh. finds out and has her beaten. Ridiculous. Oh. So well, I think you're I'm already give, safe from that. I'm going to give so. Eason an inspiration for guessing that, and then I'm going to give Adrian also an inspiration for guessing the scythe blade trip trap. Oh yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> but he has I could use my inspiration to clean the room. <laughs> you could. But um pressed digitation probably wouldn't help. But um It would be able to clean like fabrics and stuff, but it wouldn't like purge of the moldy rotten food. So like any Anyway, it probably wouldn't take that long. You don't have to yeah. re- you just help her clean up everything in the pantry, throw out some trash in. You take it out the back door and throw it in the compost pile for her. You want to do Wait, that? Uh, yeah. Does it the 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 uh, cleric? Yes. Hello, cleric. <laughs> Don't they have a purify food thing? Maybe. Or is that uh, paladin? I might be paladin. Might be like level three. No, pa- but I don't have it prepared or anything. Oh, that's too bad. That might be a ritual thing. I think I was going to pick it, but I didn't. Clerics yeah. don't get rituals like that. I think that's just a wizard thing. This is probably like the one time you would ever have used it, so whatever. <laughs> oh, well. 
<laughs> our last party everybody had some kind of immunity to disease from all these different ways so you can just like eat garbage for your ration <laughs> yeah. oh, oh i won't get sick this is terrible but at least i'll survive <laughs> you're eating <God>. dirt <laughs> um, well, we're living okay so you you know i'll get up some big piles of crap and you go out into the backyard um the thick fog is still hanging out back there, but you recognize the outline of a vegetable garden um, that's pretty overgrown, but um, it looks like there's a bunch of different stuff in it. You know, it's not just weeds, like the original vegetables and herbs and stuff are also out there. So if you had a day to cut through this garden, you could probably salvage a whole bunch of it and sell it. But no time right now. There's also a sign that says no trespassers, so you might not even want to bother. Um, <laughs> And then there's a compost pile next to it. And you realize that you wouldn't have been able to open this door from the outside because it had a crossbar across it. But now you've opened that. So good. You clean up the room, you cheer up the ghost, and guess what she gives you? A letter? What letter? Uh, T. Did you both just guess T at the same time? I said G, but... You said G. Oh, because you're guessing you know that one of them's a G. Yeah, yeah, so I just went with the right. one I knew for sure. Oh, no, you're both wrong. It's an L. Take that. <laughs> is, it an, is it an N? <laughs> no. Can I buy is a it, vowel? You can bend it. You can bend <laughs> it. <laughs> so good. She disappears with a smile. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm very happy. Does it go poof? This is a friendly <laughs> adventure. It says it's for levels 5 to 7, but I'm not convinced. It's <laughs> wholesome. No, that's what the combat's for on the upper floors. <laughs> you called it again. This adventure is just so predictable. <laughs> <laughs> We've just been around these parts a few times to know what's up. Right. I even feel like I have this whole map memorized already. <laughs> yeah, it's so familiar. Almost like we have a map for it to begin with. And I might so, have it open on the side. <laughs> do you want to go up these stairs or the front stairs? I feel like these stairs might be not so trap filled. Maybe, or possibly the opposite. I know, yeah, what, but I'm sticking to my guns days? on this. Oh, you have guns too? I thought only Adrian had. No, no, my other guns. Adrian, My my flexing guns. <laughs> so the bar can go first, then. Okay, I will go bar. first. Proudly, right. confidently, crosses the <laughs> stairs. Creepily. Um, I don't think there's a trap, actually, but let me double check just in case. I wouldn't want to, you know. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah, I you jump know, the not? gun. <gasps> Let's just say there's a trap. No. <laughs> you, you, you go up the stairs. Um, roll d20. Okay. If you roll right, you get a trap. If not, well, we don't care about it. You can only go up one at a time. So who wants to go up second? I'll go second. Okay. Uh... Okay. Yeah, I think I'll wait until they're all up there, and then right. see why the, we could only go up once at a time. And oh, because I always have to it. do it like that, otherwise you would know when it was important. Okay, I'll right. ask Devar if he sees any traps up there. You see a huge hallways. If you count a hallway as a trap, then yes, but if not, then no. I don't trust it. Hallway. There were traps in this hallway at the other place, remember? It was an illusion, though. An illusion trap. I'm going to walk up until there. Okay. That's the stop. difference. All the traps so, here are real. They cut you. This description is written as if you're coming up the other stairs, so I have to... Read it Let's backwards? See. That's fine. Just read it however. Uh, well, it's kind of weird anyway. This guy went to really, really long lengths to, like, Describe the map of this house as if I wasn't going to have already shown it to you. I don't know what he was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, this this upper upper hallway area. Let's see, does this have a name on it? I, I don't want to be a dick to this guy. By A. A. Emerald. This is a you know a well put together, cute little adventure. I'm only shitting on him because I'm an asshole. It's actually pretty nicely. <laughs> um, okay, so you go up the stairs. Your second floor hallway. It spans the length of the mansion in an E pattern. The northern arm has a set of stairs heading down to the first floor that you just actually came up. Um, there's a door on the north wall and another door at the end of the hallway on the eastern side. 
Then the southern arm contains only the rotting stairs. And then the middle arm has four doors, two on the south. Two. Then along the western wall, there are six paintings hung in the hallway. Each of these paintings is a portrait of a previous matron or patron of the von Glaus family. Interestingly, there seem to have there seems to have once hung a seventh painting at the northern end of the hallway, but it has been removed to leave behind a noticeable rectangular void. Ah, uh, I bet that was the uh, mimic. Uh, oh, yeah. I was about to say, if we had the other painting, maybe it would fit there? Uh, maybe. These are not the same paintings that you saw in the other house. We might find a painting but, in one of the um, rooms. Still, the illusionist does seem to look a lot like this Van Glaus guy also. So that's weird. There's definitely some kind of connection. There's some shenanigans afoot. Some bogus vampire illusion crap. <laughs> Maybe one of them's the doppelganger. Oh, even so, doppelgangers and mimics, this whole place is just a mess. <laughs> you find one single thing that's straightforward. You open the door and it's like a shield guardian. <laughs> no. Alright, so what do y'all think? Do you want to start with these rooms up, up top or do you want to... Yeah. Open them all up. It's, it's Rad agreed. He gets to go first. Nope. <laughs> All right. Opening the door, you're greeted with a frightening sight. This is a bad <laughs> Sitting inside inside a large iron bathtub is the ghost of a naked woman. She's currently holding a knife to her throat, and she yells at you to leave her alone. Uh, you recognize her to be Amelia von Klaus because. Of her, you know, okay. Pretty heated uh, room. Uh, why don't we go? Why don't we search from bottom to top? Because maybe we need to spell like the baby name. Uh, so, you like to her. Yeah. so you just close the door and you're like, we'll come back and deal with this puzzle later. She's yeah. not going anywhere. She already died. So if she's trying to kill herself, it's not going to happen. All right. That's <laughs> one way to put it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so. Well, you close the door and then you hear her say something horrible. Then it sounds like she killed herself. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but she's a ghost, so hopefully that's okay. Maybe she's caught oh. in a death loop. Do you want to open oh. the door back up and see if... Nope. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> we'll look into I it don't... later. <laughs> <laughs> Let me come back. Maybe there's a ladder. <laughs> Maybe. Probably not. I'm Is it worth checking? Though. Do you want to? No. Maybe you can get somebody else to do it. Hey, Let's go to this it. house. Wait. I'm not okay. afraid of Ava wants to do it. Adrian, too, he bursts in. You see, instead of a ghost, which you, they're probably just lying about that ghost anyway just to scare you. Um, you didn't actually see it. It's just a skeleton now, and it has a necklace with a letter attached to it. Oh my god, is it an envelope that I have to open and read what they said on it? <laughs> <laughs> no, but... Um, I, I usually put letter as the subtype for quest quest items that are like pieces of paper to you, and I use the same subtype for these, though. <laughs> <laughs> this one's another S. Oh, it's an S. Oh, no, it's a, a Victor S. No. And there's a door from this room into the next one, and then there's also that door where Davar is. We're breaching both at the same time on the count of three. Okay, one, two, seven. <laughs> That's the game. All right. Number, the first room, the middle one, um, is a dressing room. There are floral patterned wallpapers, and the whole room smells like perfume. There's a single door that you just came through, um, and another door on the other side. There's a makeup desk with a wooden chair along the western wall, a full length mirror. And a dozen dresses hung on hooks. The last thing you see is a pine wood hatch in the ceiling. It appears to lead up to the attic. Do we all want to try on the dresses? Sure. <laughs> but yeah. first, uh, the other room that Davar is looking in, the master bedroom. There's one door on the wall. On the, you know, one other door. Um... Just drawers, an old rocking chair that looks really fucking awesome. 
cozy. Like it, it says something stupid. It says the DM should make the allure of rocking in the rocking chair too good to pass up. Uh oh. Um, and then there is a beautiful stained glass window that depicts the von Glaus family crest of two cranes on a shield of blue, with a silver sword down the middle. Okay, so who wants to do what first? Quick. Rad. Oh, it's crazy my bird. Uh, mirror. I want to go to the mirror and see if there's Excellent. a ghost. Okay. You don't see any ghosts behind you. That's good. Yeah. What does Andy want to do? Uh, can I, at a distance, poke the rocking chair with my uh, halberd? <laughs> yeah. Um, Just to make it rock, but keep. You want to make it rock? Room. Yeah. It um, triggers a button on the floor that opens a secret compartment on the wall. Ooh. Inside the compartment is another piece of the key. I mean, shit, another letter. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so another piece of the letter. Go on. <laughs> yeah, another. There is another letter. This one's a U. Oh, it's spelling Glaus yeah. and Victoria Glaus. All right. Oh, it's her. <laughs> Easton, what room are you in? Um... I was hanging out in the hall, but but. But now it's your turn to do something. What do you want to do? Well, I'm just gonna walk up and snatch it from Devar. But it <laughs> so. okay. It's in the party sheet. You oh do it. Now, Ava, it's your turn. What do you want to do? I'm gonna go in the room with uh. The Adrian. Just... Okay. Mm -hmm. Check the hats. There's so a hat over room. there. Yeah, it has the makeup desk and the mirror, and there's a little um indoor commode in the hatch to the attic. Is a commode a toilet? <laughs> yes. There might be a letter in that toilet. Uh, no. You want to search the room? Search the toilet. I'm telling you. Do you want to search both rooms? Why don't you all roll an investigation check? I want to search the jewelry box. Can I By you that? all, you mean us too? Or just the people? Everybody. I mean, we're going to stop soon, so let's Oh room. yay! Plus zero. That's all you need, you son. The highest. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> under your skills. Investigation. Oh, that roll. Yeah, it's not. Take yeah, the. You to click the, the number. Click your zero. The total and drag box. It over. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> wow. There you oh, go. Right. So we found a toilet. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom of the toilet. Adrian first. He's the one who's really good at, at searching rooms. First thing he does is he searches the toilet and he doesn't find anything. And then he searches around on the desk trying to find a jewelry box that isn't there. Meanwhile, Ava opens up one Wait. of the doors and finds <laughs> a the jewelry box. What jewelry box? I don't yes. know. I thought there there's was like lipsticks and stuff, but there's apparently no I jewelry. That was oh. an assumption on your part. <laughs> oh, sorry, you said that when you were talking about the dresses and stuff. Oh, well. Oh, I was probably talking too quickly. So I don't know. But it's okay because you rolled, you know, four, so it worked. Yeah. Anyway, um, Ava, you find Amelia von Glaus's diary, which is now in the party sheet. Now, <laughs> in the other room, um, Eason is all about this rocking chair, you know, secret compartment, <laughs> trying to open another one. She's like, there's one secret compartment. There's got to be two. <laughs> it's obvious. Well, Davar is just kind of looking around the bed, and you notice that there is suspense. a large painting underneath the bed. Ooh. For the wall? Maybe. Does it nope. seem to be the same size? For the wind? Yeah, it does. It does seem to be the same size. Also, there's a chest of drawers in this room. Um, but other than that, you, you've you searched everything else in both rooms. Now you, you just need to roll again to search this chest of drawers. Another investigation? Um, yeah. Um, do you want to wait for everybody else first? or? Uh, I mean, if they want to come and party. <laughs> They're done searching that room. What do y'all do? Do you... Well, you it's always everybody a... else see what they're up to. Yeah. Hilarious Adrian. idea when the yeah. DM says, "Do you want to wait for everyone else?" So well, <laughs> no. the other, I'm sorry. The other option is to just call the session right here and pick it up here next time. Oh, I see. 
Do y'all want to play for another 10 minutes or so? Is there a combat? Maybe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> combat or lore drop. Well, maybe. <laughs> Either way. Up to you guys. I'm good. Like, well, I'm good. Yeah. going to search the chest. Open it. Go ahead. Yes. Nice. <laughs> okay, cool. So, um... Opening the chest of drawers triggers a spell that blasts open the stained glass window and allows three gargoyles to enter the room. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Everybody roll initiative, except for there's five gargoyles. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I haven't gotten more than ten all day initiative. We get the best initiatives. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Everybody good on initiative? No, I got a really horrible one. Gosh. Okay. Oh, no, shit, we're fucked. Wait, don't yeah, Gargoyle turn to stone? No, wait, Gargoyle is turning itself to stone. Never yeah, mind. Gorgons <laughs> or fucking Medusas are the ones that do that shit. Or was it the one? Uh, Cockatrice? They have Lila. the false appearance trait. Just like mimics, mm. doppelgangers, they're shape changers. Except for they just change into stone versions of themselves. Stone versions. That sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> so gargoyle number one. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna fly over here to Davar. No. Nope. You haven't attacked yet. You don't get to attack of opportunity him. He's gonna claw you. Hey Davar, watch out! There's a gargoyle. <laughs> <laughs> what? Where? <laughs> <laughs> Look to see you, and it just misses as yeah. I turn around. <laughs> exactly. You dodge it in your confusion. All right, good work. Gargoyle number two. He's going to fly over here and attack the little halfling. Oh no! Me Don't let it drag out. you out the window. That'd be a bad time. <laughs> Oops. All right, Devar, it's your turn. All right. <gasps> Wait. I do have an AOE spell. <laughs> Doesn't it teleport you backwards? You like smack up against the wall. <laughs> no. Kill all the gargoyles. Uh, is it Hungers of Hadar? Twenty foot radius sphere. What does that do? Uh. Creates an area of difficult terrain. Any creature that starts its turn in the area takes two d six cold damage. Any creature that ends its turn in the area must succeed a dex throw or take acid damage. So that might be. What's it, how do I make a twenty foot fucking circle? Where? Use the circle tool, Drawing. Andy. You make it forty foot because it's a twenty foot radius. Oh, right. drawing mode. Where's oh pointers? Pointers. <clears throat> Is this the first time Andy's ever used a spell in Fantasy Grounds? <laughs> it's not the first, but it's been a while. You said a 40 foot? Oh god, maybe I shouldn't do it. It takes up a whole fucking room. Yeah. What's wrong with that? They're you all in the You can consciously <laughs> confine it to only the room if you want. Uh. And then do a square instead of a circle. What about thunder step? Is that each creature within 10 feet of where I disappeared? That one would just, probably be better. Just smack them. That's the one I thought you were talking about because Thunderstep. it would be uniquely suited for the situation in which you are. <laughs> yeah, Thunderstep would probably be a much better choice. Right. We'll we'll do Thunderstep. You know what? So it's where I disappear, so I can go from where I am now. Teleport to where? To over here. <laughs> to <laughs> wow. So you dare Where did you go? The other four. They must make a constitution saving throw. Okay, we'll select them and do it. Uh. <laughs> save button. Oh, you did it. Nice. Two failures, one. two successes. That's pretty good. That should automatically do the damage right. If you and then I just do that. Want. Shoot. Uh, oh, cast. There you go. Oh, did it re-roll? Damn it. 
Why is not that job. the Good attack is blank for some reason? <laughs> What's it called? It's Thunderstep. called Thunderstep. Damn it, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> this one that's called damage, man. Oh, <laughs> this one. <laughs> I'm just going to say they all passed their save just because you screwed it up. Sorry, Andy. <laughs> well, they did. <laughs> well, two of them failed the first time. That well, the so second funny. time that I... The, the second time, the one that fun. worked right, they all passed, so therefore it did what it, you wanted to. There you go. You're right. It's fine. <sighs> Good work, Andy. Now you know. If you do want to do damage next time, click the one that says damage. <laughs> it's I, no, no. I, I didn't have the thing scroll down all the way, so when I opened it up, it only showed oh, the top right. part. You can even look it on my stream. You can see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You wouldn't have killed him either way. Um, but I opened it up for Eason to clean it up for me. That's you want to do I a did. bonus action? You can attack this last one with my chef. Yeah, wife. let's do that. Oh. Whoa, what the fuck? Sorry. What? Just go. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, and uh, Bless is worn off, by the way. Whoops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I still oh, hit. No, you missed. No, I mean, it technically didn't wear off until after that attack, even though it should have. Okay. <laughs> Go, Eason. You can do the damage. Okay, good, good, good. Eason hey. is not also grappled either. But there. Do okay. your duty. <laughs> duty. <laughs> Do-dad. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm talking to you. <laughs> Actually, I have a lucky trait, so if I roll an automatic one, or a roll one, um, I can roll. I have the lucky trait. You get so to re-roll it. Is that how it works? I, yep. I, and you I also have inspiration, right remember. Here. Yes, but, but, but lucky. When you, when you roll yeah. one on an attack roll, ability right. check or saving throw, re-roll the die, and so I have broken. to use the meat. That's why halflings are better than humans. So you have to. You don't even have a choice. You have to reroll it. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now two so more times. Oh my god. Well, there's no limit on how many times you can get lucky. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So says the DM. At least you don't get to reroll your damage. Boom! Boop, boop, boop. All right. That's cool. all I can do. You stabbed that, that card well. Good. Yeah. I missed twice. How did I roll a one twice? I don't know. That's, that's the real question. <laughs> Whatever. Did you miss with anything <laughs> other than a one? Yeah, you can yeah. use your inspiration to reroll the first attack. Nah, that's okay. <laughs> that's all right. right. Cargoal number three attacks East. Wait. No, this is the one that attacks Devar. <laughs> No, if he's gonna miss twice. <laughs> <laughs> can I okay. have inspiration um, so that the enemies can roll again? If you like. <laughs> oh, well, you have to be in the same room. Not yet. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay, so this one flies over here and attacks east. Did yeah, it pass right. my circle of influence? It absolutely did. You can attack it if you. It's number. Four. Number four. Number. Four. And I could use my reaction, my combat superiority die, and hit him for missing me. You can do that, then. Go ahead. All right. If I can hit him. Oh, there you go. I can hit him. I do that, and then I do combat superiority die. Nice. So I have to add the four myself? Yeah, it oh, looked what? like no. it did. Oh, it did? No, okay. I have. That's why Here. we built that thing. I don't roll oh, for it. I just yeah. use the damage mod thing. That's. Yeah, Excellent. that's what that was for. Figured it See, out. <laughs> two steps ahead of myself. Yeah. See, you all got right. your you got it all under control. I didn't. The femur. <laughs> Femur's just gonna chill. <laughs> well, number five. He's that's probably my here. favorite character. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't say much, doesn't need much, but it does what it oh. needs to do. Got critical hit to exactly it. like in a few rounds, <laughs> <laughs> um, like we're all bloody and beaten. <laughs> <laughs> it's there when it counts. Okay, Adrian, I'm gonna do a poison spray on the enemies. Yeah, 
Please miss me. You got him good. Oh, he resisted. No, he failed. Took zero oh, but damage. yeah, they're resistant. They're immune to poison. I thought you said no, right? Andy was like, "I'm gonna attack him with acid and cold," and I was like, "I was." I tried so hard to not tell everybody what they're immune to. <laughs> <laughs> it's poison, though. They're immune to poison. Sorry, Radley. Oh, it was turn. <laughs> hey, at least you hit. Radley's in the doorway, so he's in your way. Oh, you yeah, have to spend a double movement to squeeze past him. Yeah, I'll I'll squeeze back. So that's 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 one, two, three, four, five. So you can get up to here, and there? then you can either move one square to be there or there. Uh, right there, where it's you at. Go up to number four. Okay. Oh yeah, right. They can hover around. Yeah. So uh, and Femur hangs back with Adrian. Yo. <laughs> I'm gonna just attack it with my. Relax. Boom. Okay. First official attack roll hit. Hooray. Congratulations. Yes. <laughs> First wow. time I've hit anything with my axe. <laughs> Alright, and then... <laughs> it's only like the sixth right. combat you've been in. <laughs> Gotta love clerics, yeah. man. Clerics are awesome. <laughs> Why would I attack things? Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't care about doing damage. I'm a cleric, god damn it. <laughs> wow, right on. Uh, did I do that right? Yeah, you did that right. And he rolled an eight too. Good work. Yay. <laughs> and right. you can cast a bonus section spell if yeah. you because your concentration. Um, I'm looking at I'm gonna uh I don't know where the, yeah. You got all your spells are on actions and all your two feet to do stuff too. Taught somebody. Just gonna Let's see. Okay, it's just too late for that. <laughs> I didn't use an action. All right, so yeah, you I can use... just cast Shield of Faith or something. That's all. I do a cantrip or something. Let's see. I think Toll the Dead and Sacred Flame, those both do damage, but they both require a full action. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just do um the Yeah, the Shield of Faith is probably your best bonus action spell. You could do magic weapon instead. Actually these guys are resistant to your damage because your weapon isn't magic. So if you yeah. could cast magic weapon, then you would do full damage again. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's probably a good idea, actually. Okay. So remember, you got to target yourself. Yeah, then you cast mm -hmm. a spell. Right. Nice. Work. It didn't work, though. Didn't? Let's see. I don't think so. Okay. Ah. It said it worked in the... Oh, okay, there we go. Perfect. There, we go. there you're good. Awesome. All right. <laughs> now, up to Gargoyle number one. Let's see. I'm just going to fly over to Davar. Oh. And you don't get another reaction yet because it's not your it turn. hasn't been my turn yet. Okay. He hits you oh, with no. his bite. Oh, no. Then he hits you with his claw. Oh, no. You've been gargoyled. Now you are turned to stone. Oh no. <laughs> Gargoyle number two is attacking Eason. Gonna no. try and bite her, but she's too small. Yeah, he can't hit Eason. Dabar's turn. My turn. I want to make sure I remember that I used the spell. Um. <laughs> Gotta make Eason token smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you used. Uh, did you use a second level spell? I no, used. Level spell. Well, I mean, it's it's whatever. Oh, it's spell always. Slot. Third. Yeah. So I used one of my two. I don't get a third one until later. Right. Um. Uh, they're working on this guy up now. Critical. 
<laughs> Another critical. <laughs> okay, you killed one gargoyle. And then I'm gonna try to punt this other guy away. <laughs> Cleave. I don't got the cleaves. I know, but it feels like it. <laughs> right. You're just hitting him in the face with a stick. Eason's turn. I hey. Right. Yeah. Get your multi kill. Bitch you. Uh oh. Or not. Oh. Only the ones, right? Not the twos. Yeah. Yeah. Two is yeah. the worst thing yeah. you can. Okay, that oh. one's down. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There you go. Oh, nice. Now cleave! <laughs> many, many less, yeah. Gargoyle. If only. Alright, the femur is going to come cast level 1 heal on Eason. Yay. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Hey, will you guys let me keep one of these statues? You let me keep the other one. But <laughs> you now, can, now If you I... can contain it, go <laughs> for it. One. It had that like enamoring effect on it. <laughs> oh my god, this is the best statue ever. <laughs> I liked it before I touched it. <laughs> right. <laughs> it just sets you off crazy. Alright, this gargoyle clawed you a little bit. That's, That's okay. I forgive you, gargoyle five. He looks at you with inhuman expression on his face. <laughs> he would be like foaming at the mouth if he wasn't made out of stone. <laughs> it's it fire. Does fire oh. resistant to them? No. Oh, yeah. Nor does them to it. That's good. <laughs> You're not in the room. Just cast fireball. Uh, no. <laughs> I cast fireball and then shut the door. <laughs> oh, this is the room where you fell out the window. And the window that they came in is the window you fell out. <laughs> oh, oh no, goodness. never mind. That was up one level. Oh, yeah, that was at the top yeah, floor, wasn't it? That's right. Because it's extra good. Yeah. I, mean, I like how I knew it. it wasn't a door, but I let you walk out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the wizard. <laughs> you're all trying to find a spill real quick in your spill book, but then you just landed and break your legs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I could have used feather paw, guys. <laughs> pretty good. Okay, Ava's turn, Miss Cleric. You have your magic weapon spell all set, so now go and use it. Turn. Oh, you should use your guided. Oh. No. Sorry, my chat kind of went out a little bit. That's okay. Do you want to try and use your guided strike to hit one? Yeah. That's a good idea. We'll wait till you get reconnected. Yeah. It's a little bit. It's lagging a little bit. Okay. And... All right. Alright, so do you know how to use your guided strike? No. <laughs> do I? Oh. Well, I guess it's something we'll have to set up manually. I can do that before the next session. For now, um, right. you can still use it. Um, what you do is, do you see in the very bottom left corner, there's a box that has a zero in it, and it says modifier. Um, it's underneath the chat. Underneath the chat? Yeah. Yeah. By where the dice start. If you click on that, then type a 10, then it'll add 10 to the next thing you roll. So do that, and then attack one of them. All right, and... Then just attack them like you normally. Just roll. Whichever one, yeah. Which one do you want to attack? The uh, number five. five. Okay. Roll. Uh... So while there's a ten in that modifier box, then just do your normal attack with your battle axe. 
Okay. Everything is so laggy. Oh, sorry. No, that's good. Fantasy Grounds is sleeping and wants to take a nap. <laughs> okay, that's so see how you got plus 17 instead of plus 7. Yeah. Oh, so you hit him. Wow, what? Yay. That's her, like, instead of turn undead, she can use that instead once per day. Yeah. Wow. She's that's a war cool. cleric. Yay. So yeah, roll your damage. Should do full damage because of magic weapon. Hooray. Good. Excellent work. Hawk oil number one is um, inspired by your excellent work to attack you for it. He tries to bite you. He misses. Tries to claw you and he misses. Now it's Devar's turn. Yay! Someone, someone is tanking this gargoyle for you. It is <laughs> weird. I'm not taking the damage. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm soft crit capped. <laughs> <laughs> and then I go down here, and then we Ooh. hope that this will be the end of that. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Aww. Ha. Eason. Okay, Eason's turn. End this. Remember when there were a bunch of gargoyles last turn? <laughs> I'll just go. Eason, oh, well, he gets an attack of opportunity. Unless you use your, you use your action to disengage. No way. Who's <laughs> <laughs> hit him? Oops. I... Okay, I only have Oh, no. Nice. Oh. Oh. Thought you're gonna miss three more there times. Go. Okay, he's dead. Yeah. You killed, defeated that gargoyles. Yeah, killed, defeated. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so there's some experience there. Yeah. Ray. <laughs> then treasure. Is there a letter? That's the real question. Here. See, yeah. what letters do you have so far? Van. No. <laughs> I have. You, you already got uh, the U. Yeah, the, yeah there was a U that was in this room. Yeah, two S's, then, a U, a V, an O, an L, and an A. Right. There's no additional letters in the dressing room, so you you have all the letters that should have been so far. You're missing a few. But, um, so you have the rest of the rooms on this level of the house, and then you have the hatch up into the attic that you found. I'll draw that right here. Put an H on it. H for attic. Okay, good work, everybody. That was a very good session. I had a lot of thanks, everybody. Yeah. For staying late. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I'll set up the survey for our next session. It'll be sometime next month. Um. And I'll talk to y'all later. All right. Cool. All right. Thanks, everybody. See y'all later. Yep. Bye.